All right. Welcome back, everyone. It's time to go do more deep diving. We need to... We need to figure out what we're doing. Because, I, again, I don't really know where the... What we need to do other than get off the... Get off the planet. So let's... Let's get in here. Eight hours, nine minutes stuck on a planet. So far, so good. You swim? We try. <laughs> so far, so good. So far, so good. We swim okay. But yeah, no, swimming's probably a good tip. Although the, the robot PDA helper voice lady did say that we need to try and remember to do Oxygen other kinds of... Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. That doesn't sound good. How's it going, Voro? Yeah, no, Voro, this, this, this picture right here doesn't look so good. It's like a bad, bad way to go. But look at our beautiful base. Oh, man, yesterday, like, yesterday? All primary systems online. Last time we, last time we played, we, we spent most of our time putting this together. And, oh, man, I am loving this base. It's great. So we've got, so quick, quick base tour here. We've got our bioreactor over here. We've got our bedroom and office up here. We've got our grow beds and whatnot. Uh, get out of the way, bed. Down there. So we got our grow beds down there. We've got our storage room in here. We got a little beacon up above for home base. We got our Seamoth docking port and moon pool over there. And on the other side of this is our scanner room. Oh, yeah, and we, now we have water filtration. That apparently dispenses ice? Salt. salt. Okay. It's a, it's a salt dispenser. We wanted water, but all we get is salt. There you go. Uh, you rise to watch your phobia in action. Well, you know what? The best part is you get to watch me deal with it. I'm I'm not I'm not afraid of water, but I'm not a fan of depth. I'm not I'm not a fan of void. Large large voids into into nothingness makes me uncomfortable. So you get to watch me deal with that. I wish probably uh. There we go. Have ourselves a, a quick going away snack. I don't remember what we need to be doing here. <laughs> you know, water, water, while we got salt. That's the problem. We end up having that issue with all of our streams, right? What? No. Um, all right, what are we missing on our bar here? Ah, the knife. I do want our emergency floaty on the right. Um, I was watching a couple of other people playing this game, and essentially no one ever uses this. It seems like no one ever uses this item. I wonder why. I don't know. Anyway. So we've got our biomatter, right? We've got our biomatter here. We've got our minerals here. We've got our heavy metals here. And we've got our um, conductive metals over here. So that's what we got. Our main hatch in and out. And then the moon pool. So we need to figure out where we're going and what we're doing. The ocean is the most interesting. There's more interesting than space. It really is, to be honest. There's more weird and crazy stuff in there. So we need to get a modification station. Because remember, that was the thing we need. To modify our tanks. So we can so we can breathe longer. A thermo blade. We have to figure that out. And ultra glide fins. That would sound pretty cool. Streamline construction enhances swimming speed considerably. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. All right, we should do that. We haven't checked out the Aurora yet, so that's that is something we could do. Um, and we haven't done proposed to grassy habitat 500 meters down. I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, all of our fish have the plague, so <laughs> they're our emergency water guys. So we'll, we'll eat them if we have to. Go ahead and eat up a quick melon here. All right, we're pretty good. Can we get a water? How does this work? All right, no water. Got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> sure. A um, bit more hyped up. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead. Hop on in. Yeah, check out that base. That's pretty cool. I like it. 
I mean, I don't like how these stilts go way over here, but, you know, there wasn't much we could do about it. Just kind of ended up being what it was. All right, so we've got high capacity. Okay, so this is, uh, there's a carrying high priority passenger remains. Remember, it was the, um... I don't remember his name, but I remember they said bring a, um... Bring, like, a morgue barge or something for him. So, <laughs> we'll go over there and see what happened. That is a wall. Let's look over that. Let's go check this out. Might as well get this thing off our map. Whoop. Yeah, nothing up above. Let's go check this out. Let's see what we got over here. So we've got our inventory is nice and empty. We can go down to 300 meters now. So we're doing pretty good. What interest do you play next in EU4? Your Sweden run is winding to a close. Nice. Um, <laughs> ceiling. Uh, that would be a tough one. Um, I don't know. What kind of challenge do you want? I think that's the main question. Okay, so this is where I want to be on the floor, because I don't like not seeing beneath me. Oh, that's right! This thing! So we found this last time, but we didn't want to go in here at the time, because I wanted to finish other stuff first before exploring a new biome. So we're in some sort of fungal forest, which sounds pretty cool. Um, the same kind of fish here. Weird big-eyed guy. Plagued big eye guy. You know. A jelly ray. Right? It's a jellyfish manta ray? Probably. I don't know. Um. Let's look for some salt here in the line, which is pretty good. Was there anything like. In this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle. Oh, okay. So there might be some, like, big material scrap or something in here we can pick up. Look at this. Crazy, though. Alright. We'll just kind of continue to float around the bottom, because I like having no enemies beneath me. They can come from above. That's, that's fine. I don't want them to come from below. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Just uh, making sure it's all real and not having another surreal dream, right? I don't know if there's anything, like, of use in here, you know? Oh, wait, hang on. What's this? That ah, looks like an egg. Yeah, it's definitely an egg. I don't see a use for eggs. At least for now. I don't think we're making, like, scrambles or hatching them in for things. I don't know. This place seems to be kind of devoid of stuff, except it does have some more of these nodes to mine at. This one's probably what? Lithium? Yeah. Because it, it looks like tiny, it looks like a big uh, lithium as opposed to the lead that we had seen a lot of before. That looks like salt. So this looks like a place we can like drill. We just need to get like a hand drill or something. Something's making noises. I'm hearing reef backs down here. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, there he is. All right, so there's, there's there's big old leviathans down here. All right, cool. We're good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not finding anything of like use down here. So maybe this is just a biome that doesn't have anything in it. I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm finding absolutely nothing in here. Oh, hi. Except, except finding more things to run into. <laughs> okay, we can fly up a little bit higher. I'm feeling more confident right now. I got these reef backs floating around here, so I don't feel too bad. Whoa! Look at that one. What is this? <laughs> is this nonsense? Okay, turned in, suddenly turned into a big one. Okay, so this looks like a mother tree. Here we go. Let's take let's check this out. There's always in all in all games, there's always I know, right? Expert pilot extraordinaire. But in all games there's always stuff hidden underneath the roots of the largest tree. That's just the way it goes. That's just a trope at this point. So there's gotta be something down here we need. Right? Creature eggs. Oh, I'm just so cute looking. Look at that thing. Adorable. They're not all like that. Look at this cute little thing. 
cute. Maybe we can put it in our little uh, aquarium. Eat it? I mean, you know, if things get if it, if it gets bad enough, might have to. Unidentified creature. Okay. We'll see if we can put it in our little aquarium and have it hatch in there. And let's try a different door. Let's try down here. Yeah, cause so that's the thing. Like these eggs are all like you can't see what it is, and it'll tell you what kind of egg it is too. Or not? Okay. We'll just we'll take some eggs with us. Who knows? Let's just grab let's just grab some eggs. I mean, you know, as I said, there's always cool stuff that they hide in here. So, oh wow, that's literally it. So maybe these eggs are important. Well, I mean, you say caves, but it's like not much, really. Jeez, that's so bright. <laughs> I don't know if we need that much light here. Oh, we found it. Nice. Maybe face huggers. Uh, maybe we should eject all these. That's probably a good idea. Maybe we should just throw them all out the airlock. All right. What happened to these guys? Download PDA. Any other special bits and bobs for me? No? No special things floating around out here? No? No? All this one is just a PDA and that's it? Just a little bit of story? Hop back in. I <laughs> almost felt like ramming him. Um, let's go float back over here. Just, you know, the safety of the reef. Uh, or not. I mean, you know, expert pilot over here. We're, we're crushing it. Literally. All right, so what was... Hey, look, at, look at that. That's an interesting egg. All right. Um, database. Voice logs. Database. Data logs. Aurora survivors. Emissary. as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. What? <laughs> That didn't sound really good. That, that sounded pretty bad. Oh, a whole fragment. Okay. Pick that bad boy up. All right. Mushroom tree. Or tree mushroom. Nailed it. What'd you miss? Uh, not much. Um, I ran around. Uh, pretty much she came straight here. Actually, you know what? We should, we should probably... Do we have our repair tool on us? I should probably pull that out. And I found, like, some eggs. That's that. So, I'm going to see if I can shove them in our aquarium. Oh, I don't want upgrades. I want to enter. There we go. Totally normal, insane person. I know, right? Totally normal, completely sane. Alright, so we found a Cyclops fragment. What does that mean for us, blueprints? Do we need more of them? And if so, how many more of them? Ooh, okay, so we need Cyclops engine... And whole fragments. Okay, so we need to keep searching. All right, we can we can search in the dark down here. Hello. <laughs> Hi, fish. Flam. Running into them. No problem. Hmm. So I guess there might be some debris down here, but that's the only piece we've found. And generally, we find, like, a lot all over the place, you know? I have no idea if we've combed over this area before or not. I, I've not been paying attention to our path in here at all. I've just, I've just been bobbing and weaving between these trees. And that's about it. Oh, 
Um, but again, it seems like a relatively empty one, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Bob and Weave, bam. Yeah, you know, as you do. Ooh, that's new. I don't know what that was. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I don't like that. We're gonna... Okay. Hello. <laughs> well, soft nudge. Hard nudge. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna back up here a minute. All right, from the big old lightning beast over there. Just wants to give you a hug. I know, right? Jeez. Holy moly! All right. So is that is there only one big big tree in here? No, this one feels bigger. No, this one's different. This is a definitely a different tree. Do you have secrets hidden be beneath your roots? Right. This one's definitely bigger. This one's different. This isn't the same one. Is this the same one? We'll know in a second here. Yeah, it's the same one. Alright, so I've gone in a circle. Perfect. We're making progress. Just bob and weave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, 50% of the time we hit obstacles. It's okay. As long as we get where we need to go and our hull doesn't completely shatter. And so that's life pod 13. So we've been here before. Alright, so I need to get, like, better bearings, because I'm literally going in circles right now. Okay, so that's back. Alright. There's some sort of fissure down here. Let's check this thing out. There we go. More eggs. Some lithium. I might as well pick up a little more lithium while we're here. You know, might as well. Okay. Back in we go. Um, should be in bed. Just want to say hi. I, you know. Well, hello, welcome, bye, Jack boy. Hope to see you when. Hope to see you eventually. <laughs> I mean, I, I know how it is. Have fun at school tomorrow. It's important. Get your learn on. Oh man, I am just hitting everything the finesse is, is i just don't have it right now either that or everything's hitting me i'm not too sure oh why hello there Wait. Okay, so we're out of the water. All right. You wake up in six hours and change? <laughs> oh, man, you got to go to bed. Don't be as... Please don't be as bad as I am. Most people can't run on, on little sleep. Okay, so we found another one of these... Um, Stargates here. So it's just going to circle? Yeah, it does. Okay. So we just found another Stargate. I don't think there's anything to do with it, though. No, nope, just, just a big old empty Stargate. Alright. Well, we found another one. But you've done it so many times. Wow. All the same. <laughs> uh, you hope it did not escape. Uh, it's not escape pod 13, man. Yeah, that would be pretty terrifying. Just like walk up here and you see like the escape pod 13 man sitting there. It'd be scary. All right, so interesting. Something to think about. Oh. A quick little scan here. Up. Oh, whoa, we found diamond. Alright, we need these for a laser cutter. What? What? Excuse me? 
Goodness gracious, Altera is very greedy. Yeah, for you to be able to live, you owe us everything. What? I think not. Alright, so we got the two diamonds we need for the laser cutter. I think we still need like another two or three more diamonds for something. Let's see if we can find a bit more down here. There's another one. Oh, it is a jelly ray. <laughs> don't touch it. If it's a jelly ray, don't touch. Okay. Jelly ray. All right, here we go. Let's go see if we can get some more diamond. Diamond, please. You got a bug out? All right, take care. We're on Thursday. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Lithium. I'll take the salt. Doesn't hurt. Could always use more salt. Salt equals water, and water is good. Some lithium there. Is this really limestone down here? I guess I'll take the titanium. Sure. Right, let's grab this lithium from the roof here. Thirty seconds. Oh. Get back here. Whoop. There we go. Uh, you got work in the morning after a four-day weekend? Nice. That's a nice way to go. I mean, it is kind of hard to get back to the grind after four days, though. I gotta say. You know? It's kind of tough to do. Alright, so. We got four diamond. I was really hoping for one more. But now we know we can come down. Hello? <laughs> I'm sorry, fish. Right, we'll, we'll grab him. We can eat him. <laughs> we'll, we'll put his we'll put his death to good use. We'll, we'll eat we'll eat him. We're not monsters. We're not gonna let him just rot out here in the in the ocean. We'll make sure we'll make sure he's actually used. There's kelp up there, man. For some reason, I thought it was like. Monster. Nah, it's just just kelp up there. It's fine. All right. Is there anything else down here? More big lithium deposits. All these jelly rays. A sheer rock face. Okay. Loud noises in the deep. Mm. Oh, we found the outskirts of this. Now, uh, there's more of these rock boys. More metal scrap. That's a lot of rock boys. I don't want to go over there. Keep skirting this. See if there's anything on the outside that we need. Right out there in the ocean, you mean decompose to feed nature? I sure, but we're, we're a force of nature right now, right? Oh, here we go. Here's another piece. Go park ourselves in a. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not really good at reversing, are we? Oh, do they hurt if I touch them? Okay, doesn't seem like it could good. That could have been really bad. Man, I am just. Who gave me my pilot's license? Jeez, they should be. They, they should be. Looked at. My goodness, their judgment is not great. What is this? Is this, oh, is this a copper piece? Is this a big thing of copper? Oh, look at that. Cool. So if we need to mine copper, we can. We need to figure out what kind of drill we need to get for this thing. It's got to be like a hand drill or something, right? All right. I mean, we have a laser, maybe we can use the laser cutter for it. Okay, what's down here? It's like nothing of importance. <laughs> nothing good, nothing of any good could come from down there. So let's not go down there. Alright? Another peak. Oh, there's a big thing of ship down here. Dang it. Oh, I don't want to go down there. I feel, I feel like a clownfish right now. I want to hide in my anemone. 
Uh, we should probably go back and get water before we do more exploring anyway. We've explored this area pretty well, uh, I'd say. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. All right, we'll check out this crash site in a minute. We really should be bringing snacks with us. That That's an oversight on my side. Yeah, we need to go back. All right, so we're going to head back real quick here. Um, we're going to drop off all of the shiny things that we've picked up so far. Uh, eat our fill, try and shove our little uh, eggs into the, uh, the aquarium there, and uh, go from that. Let's go to the big ship. Yeah, we'll go to the big ship in a minute. I want I want to make sure that we get like we've got like a good packed lunch and whatnot first, because I did not pack a lunch. That uh, was a, it was an oversight on my side. Thought we were gonna be like checking out where that guy was, and it wasn't gonna be in a new biome, and we'd have to go back or something. But we'll 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 hop back first. Let's hop back first. Yeah, so there are these two of these big trees here. Hmm. This biome's actually really big, but honestly, it looks like it's probably best for just mining resources. It's got a lot of those large deposit items. And that's about it. Not, not really much else. So the real question is, should we go back out there, or should we start poking around the Aurora? I kind of want to go over there, because we've seen it recently. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Um, otherwise, we can go jump over to the Aurora and see what's going on over there. Because I know they said that there was a schematic or something for a ship that we can build that was sent over there. So I kind of want to take a look at that. Okay. Oh, nice. We don't get caught in it if we just go straight through it. That's nice. <laughs> Aurora? We should go to the Aurora? Okay. We can go over there. We just need to keep in mind that straight west by south, uh, west by northwest is where we need to go to go find those chunks. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hello. Let's fix that bad boy up. <laughs> uh oh, we're moving real slow again. We're like limping along because we don't have any water. Cook me this spade fish. I'll get some water out of it. Three? Is that enough for me to run faster? Nope. <laughs> Just die by eating potato chips and dehydrating ourselves. Ah, <gasps> oh, what a what a glorious sound. Oh my goodness, it gives you 50? Whoa, oh. Oh, that's really nice. Let's take that salt out of here. We're going to stack the salt in here. It's kind of nice, free salt. I mean, we can turn the salt into bleach. Um, and the bleach into water, so that works. Uh, anything else to put in here? Yeah, we've got diamonds. Let's put these diamonds. Give me the gold. Whoop. Titanium. We've got a lot of lithium. Like, you got a lot of lithium, so let's drop all that off. There we go. Um, no longer... Yeah, we're no longer thirsty. Got it under control. Alright, can we put... No? It's got, like, cute eyes. I want to put it in there. Can I not put these in here? Oh, that's disappointing. Can I just put them in a locker? <laughs> can, I, can I shove these boys in a locker? Maybe. Let's see if we can stick them in the tools locker. Not a lot of room in here. Now nah, there's the only one. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Vox? What are you doing? Um, all right, we'll just. Ooh, wrong, wrong locker. This locker. Grab two titanium. We'll go ahead and grab our building tool. Let's put that out. That's fine. Fill this up. It's just like a, a boring old wall locker, and we'll just yeah, let's we'll stick it over here. Come on. Green, green, green. There we go. Yeah, I got him. 
Oh, cool. Okay. Eggs. Do that. I forgot we could. <laughs> Got tools on this one. Give me that back. Oh, we had water in here too. Nice. All right. We'll put the eggs in there. There we go. Hopefully they don't get dehydrated. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they don't die. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's make sure we get some food. So let's go over here and let's grab some food from out here. We don't, we should, we don't have any of the lantern fruits, right? We should go back and grab some for our massive bioreactor. How's it doing, by the way? <laughs> Still running on those marble melons. Good, good. We should go and get some of those. Name one of them Juno and fill it with salt. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see here, we have our Juno locker. It's, as you would expect, full of salt. What? Let's get another one of those. Nice. Alright, so we need to bring a care package with us. Let's go ahead and... We need, like, cure some cure some fishies. So let's go outside and go get some cured fishies. Uh, let's go and... Oh, it has no charge. <laughs> Well, rip on that one. Now we can't eat those. They're too big, I think. Now let's go over here. It's our, it's our better. You know what? Why are we going to make life hard on us? Why, why, why would we ever think about making life hard? Life should be easy. We've got science tech to get all of our woes done. Right? Let's go get our graph trap. Here we go. We can... I mean, this thing doesn't have any charge, and you know? we can put that back in there. <laughs> don't need to carry it. Let's be honest. All right, let's go. Let's go make life easy. All right, like we don't need to. We're we're looking to get some some good old snackage and the like for our long road trip. Um, so let's, let's get this guy up and running. Let's go find an area filled with fish, like here. Blam. Get in here, fishies. Alright, so I'll pick you up. Nope, come on. Come on. Oh, this is supposed to make life easy. Okay, there we go. Just two. That peeper. No, nope. I'm just like frantically clicking. There we go. There we go. Man, I'm making all sorts of really awkward noises here. Oh, we got an egg. Look at that. Doesn't look too exotic. We've probably seen them around here before. And if anything, it's probably for one of those mammoths. Manatee things. What is this? It's a whole fish. Come here, whole fish. There we go. Nab him. And this one. We'll grab this one too. We're just going to get a bunch of food here. We've got a lot of salt, so we can just do a bunch. Now we, like, get auto salt too. That's the last fish I get. What? <laughs> Do we grab one of the explodey guys from inside the cave? That's kind of awkward. That's awkward. <laughs> I know, right? Gotta catch them all. Getting dinner. What? All right, up we go. You got Hitman 2? Nice. Gonna play through both? That's gonna be fun. All right, so. Yeah, just ignore those, those noises. They're not important. It's just the fish outside doing weird things, as they do. Let's go cure all these bad boys up so we can keep them forever. There you go. Another one. Uh, but Gregor's too welcome. How are you doing? Also, that tentacle machine that instantly it abducts fish for you? It is. It is absolutely. That's exactly what it does. And it makes life very easy. That way we don't have to go and, like, chase fish or anything. They just can't run from us. They're stuck. There's nowhere to go. We're just going to continue to cure everyone we can here. Anything that's left over, we'll leave in the tools locker. Ah, looks like we're out of salt. Oh, we just need two more salts. Ooh, we are out of salt. Well, I guess we'll put the fish in the, in the tank. <laughs> They'll get diseased, but, you know, it's fine. This is our emergency water tank here. These guys are... Here, strictly for emergency water. Now we have emergency food, too. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good for them. Have fun in the aquarium. Poor alien fish. Going, I know, right? Going through their day, and then suddenly... They just get sucked in. Alright, how much... Alright, so we got some water here. Alright. 
some filtered water here. Um, and then we should... Oh, we're out of... Well, I used all of our salt. Man, salt's a huge commodity. Jeez, okay. Um, there's no nearby salt deposits for us, is there? And we lose water from these because they're salty. Okay. Uh, we'll just drop all these peepers then. We'll carry everything else. We'll leave the peepers in here. Um, just, I feel like we should take this, but we don't really have any charged batteries right now. And it's not taking the batteries out of that. I've been pulling batteries out of devices. Um, and we're going to need a new one for a scanner soon. Oh, jeez. How are we doing on our, rechar on our repair tools? Okay. All right, let's go get the stuff we need for, for a new one. We'll be okay. Salt? On a plant literally covered in salt. I know, right? How do we get salt? It's crazy. But don't worry. We're going to use that salt wisely. Oh, these guys just never leave. You never leave me alone. Oh, but you do you bring, bring me pres presents. I do like presents. Thank you. Man, I just stuttered and stammered all over that one. Jeez. Presents. Okay. You stay in your corner, all right? Well, I do some... No. Stay. Stay in your corner. I'm trying to... You back off, all right? Listen. I'm not afraid to slash you to pieces. Get out of here, you. Yeah, you go twist and turn everywhere. You're fine. You get out of here. I'm trying to do some gardening. We really should have our garden in a different spot, though. This, this is constantly a problem. Oh, I thought he was going to be above me. I, like, inst I instinctively slashed above to deal with him. Oh, he must be below. Yeah, he's below again. Alright, let's just... Let's just move this real quick. <laughs> let's move this over here. Hopefully, it won't be as bad, because they're always over there. So, you know, if, if we go over here, we might be alright. Let's move this grow bed to there, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, I know we're just... Oh my goodness gracious, man. Come on. <laughs> go away. I will, I will, I will mess you up, son. All right? Listen, I will mess you up, and I'm not afraid to do it. Okay? Jeez. Back off. Holy moly, this man, I swear. Right, so we'll put some adults in there. Look around real quick. Look for our quarry. Here he comes. Get out of here. Can we not get rid of this man? Can we make that st Oh, we can make a stasis rifle. Hold on, guys. Let's go figure out that stasis rifle. That sounds like something we could use. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Also, that's the four we needed. So perfect. What does a stasis rifle require? Personal tool... Stasis rifle. Oh. We haven't found magnetite yet. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, we need to refill the Juno chest. It's true. Yeah, knife fighting while gardening. Yeah, we're, we're just. this is just a whole new level of crazy. Alright, so if we look at tools, is there anything else we're missing? Well, she can, can't do... Ah! We can make the laser cutter. Let's, so let's do that. And then we're going to want a new... Oh, that's distracting. I was hoping it would be, like, scaring. Really? One sulfur makes five flares? What? Okay. That finding tool... I can play with that. Scanner. Alright, we need batteries. We need batteries. That's the thing we need. <laughs> Fire extinguisher is just titanium. Okay. Basic materials. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had to salvage. Let's go break this part. <laughs> Please name that chest, you know? Well, I mean, if we need, like, an, a forward operating base, then maybe, yeah, we could do something like that. But right now, we're not naming these because we were using the big guys. Alright, so we just need the copper ore. Uh, and it's two and one, so. We actually do need more copper. It's a little annoying. All right, so we get two batteries online here. One and two. Um, not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. All right, so for this we need two diamond and the cave sulfur. Pfft, easy. Two diamond and the cave sulfur. 
tools. Laser cutter. Nice. All right. Stop hitting my base. You literal monster. <laughs> like, they're just bouncing into my base and they're like, ow. My face. Don't make me come back out there. I will laser cutter you, all right? Ooh. Yeah, it looks good. All right, can we, can we like, shoot them with this thing? Can we laser cutter them? Come here, you. That is a no. I like how you can strafe around these guys. They just cannot strafe for their life. <laughs> Oh, I can't keep a beat on him, though. I don't know where he went. Oh, that's disconcerting. Where'd he go? He disappeared in a magic puff of his own blood, huh? Alright, well, looks good. Taken care of. In we go. <laughs> Jeez. Does seem to be an appropriate name uh, for the neighbor. Yeah, he... Yeah, God, my God, Jerry's just a nightmare. Literally the worst. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, good. Um, so we got that. Was there any other materials in life we could build? For equipment? No. But I, I kind of want more than just... I think we're going to go with a couple of spare batteries, to be honest. Let's, let's drop off this titanium. Uh, let's go with another battery and let's drop off this grav trap. This. We'll drop that. Um, I'll put you here. Oh, swap you out. Perfect. Then. Oh! Oh! Timing. Perfect. Oh! Ooh. Don't worry. There he is. Sunk to the ocean bed. Life pod 12. Alright. Well, we know what we're up to. Um, are we still scanning? Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Ooh. We need to get uh, we need to get that um, magnetite so we can actually get the the HUD overlay so apparently we can see it on our uh, as we're swimming around which will be super helpful and useful. Right now, not so much. All right, so we've got our food, we've got our water, we've got our tools, we've got no spare batteries. It's still growing. Get those four, and then you an adult, you an adult. Okay, you're an adult. Put those four in there. Let them continue to grow. Get back into the base. Let's make two more batteries to come along with us, because I have a feeling we're gonna run out of power, and that would be really uh, that would be really inconvenient. Probably more inconvenient than running out of water. Do we get any free water? Is there any more free water? What's the rate at which we get water? Oh. Gotta love that sound. It's a great sound. Oh, and some salt. Yes. Now they've had time to become properly diseased for additional flavor. We're gonna take this. <laughs> uh, uh, we're gonna take them with. Ew. We're gonna take it with us. Right, you? Come with me. Become cured. This free salt thing is really nice. Um, and then... Bleach, yeah, it's just salt and table coral, or and, uh, tube coral. Alright, so we're just gonna take all this food with us, I guess. We'll just start eating this. Full drink on, we'll be good to go. 
All right, I think we're good. Is there anything else we need to do? Uh, we've got ourselves two spare batteries. We've got all the tools of the trade, uh, including a fully charged sea glide. There's no other tools in here that we care about because we've got a... Well, do we need a flashlight? Is that important? Do we need a fire extinguisher? <laughs> do you think bring a fire extinguisher That's just in case? I mean, it does still look like it's on fire. Let's be honest. Um... Nah, I don't, think we, I don't think we're gonna need the light. Uh, do I think we're gonna be picking up a lot of items? I mean, we're gonna be using a bunch. Yeah, why not? Let's let's take our flashlight with us. We don't have to put a battery in it until we need it. Let's take the fire extinguisher because you know that <laughs> the place is literally on fire. Yeah, probably. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, look at this thing. Like, it's literally on fire. If we're going to the Aurora, it's still literally on fire. So I'm thinking we should probably bring that with. All right, let's go and nab our... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> let's enter it. Let's not take the power cell out. I don't even know how we did that. All systems online. Whoop! Front or back of the Aurora? Where do you guys... Or the side. Where do you think we should go? I think I'm just going to angle myself towards the belly of it and see if there's like a big hull breach in the center. But I don't know. There's got to be a way in. The docking port, I would imagine, on a ship like this would be underneath, though. So my, my guess is center. Imagine if you go there and there's a fire you can't pass and you didn't bring it. I mean, that's a good point. It did have, like, an atomic explosion, right? All right, we're still in our radiation suits. So we should be good, right? Center? All right, we'll go center. We'll give that a shot there. It does feel right, though, right? The center should have, like, some sort of docking bay or something, right? For a big spaceship like that. Oh man, I feel really awkward not being at the bottom. We're gonna go back down. I don't like having empty space underneath me. It makes me <laughs> it makes me feel vulnerable. So there's a lot of scrap out here, which is pretty good. Oh hello, what is this? Oh, that's <laughs> oh, sorry, fish. More fragments. We've already gotten these. So it just gives us titanium. But there might be more equipment in here. You never know. No? There's another one of these. Man, I can't believe it. I was like struggling to find a beacon and yet they're like everywhere. And this is the second location we found them just dotted all over the place. What the heck is Stalker doing out here? I thought they stuck just to the kelp. All right, you do you, stalker. Don't make don't make me angry. I will come over there with a knife. Don't trust me. Ask your cousin. <gasps> oh, an office chair. Here we go. <laughs> now we're getting the important stuff. Oh yeah. Not just a swivel chair, not just a captain's chair, but also an office chair, which I think is the one we probably should be using instead of the swivel chair, which I think is the one we have right now. Ah, sea glides here as well. Okay. We already got the desk. Can we get a cabinet? Ah, oh, or a locker? That would've been really cool. No. Let's go. Whoop. Get out of there. Let's go get a little more air and see if we can get inside this big structure. Jerry's following you. I just, Jerry. What do we talk about? Personal space. Goodness gracious. All right. Can we get into this thing? Is there a a broken section? There's a door here. Can we open up the door? Nope. It says locked. Ah! Repair! Oh, we've, we've grabbed a bunch of junk already. <laughs> Jerry. I'm watching you. Alright, we're gonna do some underwater repairs. Alright. Oh, the door opens. Oh, nice. This is very disorienting. Hello? Jerry? Is that you? It is. Let's get some more air real quick. I was thinking for a second, I, like, the last thing I want is to be in that room with him. Because, you know, then he's going to have to... The thing's just going to show me the pictures of his kids, and we're going to be stuck doing that for a while. Uh, what do we find? Another beacon. Okay, I'll take it. 
We might just do a trip back with a whole bunch of titanium. I do love having all the spare titanium, I'll be honest. Like, can we... I want all of it. I want all the spare titanium. Because it's a nuisance to go pick up, and this is, like, the most... This is the easiest way to, like, find it and get it. So it really feels like there's nothing in here but just beacon fragments. <laughs> that's literally it that's in here. There's nothing else for us to scan. What kind of a... Oh. Hello? Oh. Oh, more beacon fragments. <laughs> oh, look, it's a hidden safety room. Oh, no, there's also a mobile vehicle bay. There we go. All right, we're totally topped off. We're totally full. What did we find? Sea blood fragments. All right, there's, there's nothing in here for us, it seems. All right, let's get back out. Up and down and out and up. Whoop. He's our quick inflatable boy. All right. Uh, our inventory is... Um, <clears throat> we're good to go. <laughs> you sure you need all this stuff? What do you find something important at the Aurora? Then I'm just going to have to drop a lot of titanium all over the place. All right? That's just the way it's going to be. All right. Where's the Aurora? It's right here, right? Oh, it's... It's right here. Okay, so we are, we're literally right next to it. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, something's bumped into me. This is a ravine here. Scrap. Nothing of use here. Okay, so I'm now starting to see the folly of my plan. Um, there appears to be a lot of sand in the way. That's different. This is new. Ooh, a propulsion can- That's why we brought extra batteries. <laughs> a propulsion cannon, there we go. Okay. You don't like sand? It's oh my goodness. <laughs> the number of times that is quoted is absolutely insane. Oh, there's actually... Ow. <laughs> oh, there's, like, mining nodes here. And scrap and whatnot. And there's a reef back, like, right there. Is he gonna beach himself? Nah, he's moving off. Okay. There's the side of it. Don't bite me, all right? I bite back in the form of unleashing a small man that will stab you to death. So don't do it. We're like there, yeah. <laughs> we got there really quick. But yeah, I don't. It doesn't seem to be a way to get in through the. He just, he's everywhere. We, we can't escape him. He's wherever we go. There's some quartz. I don't know if we're running low on that or not. Well, hang on. There's a lot of these, I think these are titanium. Mineable titanium things. Um, let's get our laser cutter out. Okay, the laser cutter does not do it. Roger that. What about down here? This is like space down here. Life form readings eh. in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout okay. will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if it's not contained <laughs> within the next twenty four hours. A lot of rumbling and jumbling here. Can we get down here? No? I can't get down there? Okay. Hey. 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 No. Man, we just juke him like nothing else. We're so good at dealing with these guys now. <laughs> He's trying to give us a cuddle. Come on, there's gotta be a way to get in here. No. 
Still nope. I do not like how wide and open that is. Man, I really don't. We're just going to hug this so much. I'm going to hug this ship. I don't like it that it's shaking. I don't like how open that area is out there. That makes me very nervous. So we're just gonna we're just gonna scoot down, follow the perimeter here. See if we can find an opening in. Ah, this looks like an opening here. Why are there these stalkers everywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're scary. Shh. Sure. Okay, so we're in the Aurora. Wow, there we are missing pieces here. That's for sure. Oh, don't hit that. Expert pilot, hang on. Don't beach myself either. Nope. Okay. Okay. We're, how do we... Is there a way to get up from here? No. Maybe? Can we swim over this? No. Sparks in here. Man, I do not... This I, This is creepy. Is a healthy fear of the unknown? Yeah. Uh, I don't like... I like this. I don't like this. Oh. See, we brought... We brought a uh, fire extinguisher. See, we're smart... Okay. I need to get a better picture of this. I can't see... Oh, I don't like this shaking. It makes me very nervous. Can we get up here? Oh, my word. Okay. Can we get up here? That looks like a walkway on our left here. That looks like a designed way to go. Oh, my goodness. There are crabs here. Yes, this is definitely where we need to jump off. Let's get to, get to dry land here. Whoop. Quick dodges. We can we can sprint, so we'll be fine. We'll just dodge these boys. I do not like this shaking. This makes me very nervous. There's nothing in here but story progression. Okay. That's good to know. So by that you mean there's no scary monsters or anything. That's great. I mean, I would be surprised if there were, other than these crabs, because let's be honest. Now oh, we can't lift it. we can't pick up anything. Well, You're free, be free, we of nearby life forms contain human tissues. What? What? No, why would you say that? Why why would you why would you tell me this? <laughs> Caution. These things are eating people. Well, oh my goodness, they're everywhere. I don't even know if there's a place for me to go. I'm just kind of running around. Is there like a can I fire extinguish this? Can I go anywhere if I fire extinguish this? Maybe? I mean, it's working. I'm putting out this fire. Nope. Except I put it on myself now. Ow. No. Not here. Did I go past the spot we need to go to? I can't really look at chat much because I have these little buggers trying to bite me. This looks like a spot. No? no? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> the noise it makes when I have it lift back up in my hand. No, not over here. Is, is this not the place to go? This looked like it was designed for me to walk up this. I can't go up here? Really? I've got to have missed something, right? Maybe not. I'll pick up one of those. There we go. There's a hole in the wall you think you saw? Okay, I must have missed it. I will slash you all to death if I have to, alright? Gosh, gosh darn it, leave me alone. <laughs> These little monsters. Maybe over here? This feels like puzzle stuff. This, like, this feels right. Yeah, nah. Alright, there we go. Okay. That looks like a door. And there's loot, so it's definitely guiding me this way. Oh, that one's diseased. Run. 
Run! He's got the plague! Oh, look! A fire extinguisher, just in case he didn't bring around. Well, it doesn't hurt to have a second. These things apparently have a limited charge on them. We're almost halfway through ours. Ooh, a health kit. Oh, some... Yeah, I'll take that. Come back here, you. <laughs> We're just gonna leave little droppings as we go, little titanium droppings. Locked. Mm-hmm. Yep, definitely feels that way, that's for sure. Yeah, I know, puzzle stuff. Yeah, it's a bridge. It's puzzle stuff. It's platforming stuff, you know. I want to know what's in these... <gasps> Ooh, a battery. <laughs> I mean, we're going to be able to breadcrumb our way back. Oh, another battery. Why do we make batteries? There are free batteries in here. We made two batteries explicitly because I thought we were going to need some. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Mm. Nice. Bam. Bam. We have cargo van administration. Now, if games have ever told me anything, administration is where you go first. Another battery. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Alright, let's go check out over here. See what we're looking for. Oh, come on. There's one fuel left in here. Don't tell me it's out. <laughs> one fuel. Nope, can't use it. Sorry. Oh. Ow. Fire. Yeah, I'll fire bad. What was that piece of fire there? Ooh. Trash can, here we go. <laughs> the heck with the titanium, I know, right? Like, just, just chuck it, it's fine. Ooh, paper and pen. So even though we have these crazy PDAs, I guess we still use those. Integrating new PDA data. Is that another battery? It is. Get out of here, titanium. <laughs> give me this. Give me this. Okay. Go away. Okay. Pick up Hans and Poster Land. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at this PDA data. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. <laughs> Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Oh. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, I can't get in there. This hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Mm. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Can we go this way? <laughs> Is this the thing? We... Oh, laser cutter? Maybe. That's a good point. Maybe the laser cutter. I can do that. It could be a tool we could use to try and get through here. You know what? I wonder how the propulsion cannon works. Right? They, we just got it. And they were on this... It was right there. That's definitely a clue. Warps gravity to pull and push objects. Well, I see some objects that I want to warp and pull. Alright, cool. So we have to go back. Okay. Well, let's take a look up here at the very least before we go back. So I guess we have to go back to get the items to allow us to come back here. Standard, classic, whatnots. Um, this doesn't seem to work. Yeah, it is. 
Nope. No, it's not. Okay. So the robot got angry, obviously. Yeah, another. I think the robot might have been what killed us. Airlocks. Really? Alright. So let's go back. Oh, dodge him. So let's go back. Let's make this propulsion cannon thing. Where was our on ramp? There it is. That is scary. <laughs> Look at that. Oof. Alright. So, uh, I don't like this shaking. It makes me very nervous. I know the game's not going to have this thing fall apart on us. I know we're going to be fine, but I still, still though. That's true. The batteries alone were absolutely worth the trip. We also got a poster. We're going to put that up on our wall in our... Well, I guess not our office, because our, our bedroom doesn't really have any standard walls, does it? It's literally all glass. Hmm. I guess we'll put it in our um, in our storage room. It's like we find they've been murdering this thing in the meantime. So we'll head on this way. There we go. We found a little shortcut to get up and out. Perfect. Full steam ahead. All right. That was pretty easy. Wasn't nearly as bad as I was expecting it to be. You know? Oh, the sand shark thing. The little, the little uh, slug monster <laughs> making noises. And then there's him. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I, I do like this one a lot. I'm actually really enjoying this. It's a completely different pace from the games we've been playing for the past months, right? We've been playing... Um, like strategy-esque games for months. So it's kind of nice having a different pace here. The ship totally blows up. I mean, it already did. I at like, I'd be surprised if they would do it twice. They could if they wanted. Whoop. Scoot around that little tentacle tail there. There's another reef back there. Hi, reef back. Let me just flash my lights at him so he knows I'm here. Don't run into me at your top speed of a mile an hour. All right, let's get back to home base. Let's uh, drop off all this beautiful titanium we picked up. A couple of other things uh, we can drop off as well. How's our inventory look? Totally full. Just the way we like it. Uh, apparently, we didn't need any of the food we brought with us because we had to turn right back around. But we'll keep the food in our inventory and we'll, we'll be fine. The main thing is we're going to need to get more water. So I guess we'll just eat some marble melons and replant some. That'll be fine. Yeah, the, the ship already blew up. It blew up pretty quick. Uh, I didn't expect it to blow up as fast as it did. It blew up after, like, three hours of gameplay. Something like. Alright, so this is the thing I like about our base. You ready for this? We go down here. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Ah, I like that a lot. I tried to get this moon pool to be right over that little crevasse there, but it just did not want to cooperate at all. There was, there was zero cooperation. Yeah. Oh, we're going to need a new... <laughs> we're going to need a new chest. Well, let's go grab some quartz. Oh, wrong side. Go grab some quartz. Oh. That's, that's, not, that's not what we want. Drop off these spare batteries. Okay, guess this one's full too. Uh, I'll take this out so you can have this. Guess we're gonna need a food chest. Let's make a food locker. Let's make one specifically for food, right? Miscellaneous. Oh, we got a chair and a trash can. Yeah. We put our trash can like right here by eggs. Or like right by the door. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> we can we can chuck stuff right when we get in the door. There we go. Nice. Oh, look, there's already coffee in here for us. Bam, look at that, man. We've ha we apparently had a lot of trash to get to store up in there. You helped design it? Is that true, Sadness? Because if so, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Also, welcome, man. Haven't seen you in chat for a while. Seen you floating around in, uh, in Discord from time to time, but not so much in chat. All right, let's go and grab a little bit of quartz real quick if we can. 
and we know where to go. Oh, help design your base. Ah, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Tis true. <gasps> Ooh, salt. We need more salt. There's not enough salt here. All right, so I'm just going to go back to this little cavern down here. Unless I just overshot it. Yeah, I totally did. <laughs> Let's get back in that cavern. Where's that cavern entrance? I don't remember. There it is. Alright. So in here... Vital signs stabilizing. Let's just eat these guys. It's fine. I'll just do it now. Uh, in whoa, okay, in here there should be quartz, right? So I thought there was. Hmm. Yeah, we need more. This <laughs> Gino dustings. We need it. We, I can't. Where, where's all the quartz? Yeah, there's one foolproof way to get us some quartz here. I guess we'll have to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just so unfazed by them. After having to fight them to be able to build our base, I am so unfazed by those guys now. Nice. Actually, wait real quick. Where can we put this? Where do we want this poster? Put it like right here. Let's go to the scanner room. Maybe we, we can just put it here for now. There you go. Bam. Rising above the competition, prawn suit Mark Three. A little man in there. The pressure reactive waterproof nano suit is a range uh, is a range of mechs designed to protect the pilot from extreme environments. The Mark III will use iteration. Cool. All right, where were we? Oh yeah. Foolproof way to find quartz. Do it during the daytime. This game streets the stream. It really does feel like it. Yeah, we just teleport up ladders. Oh, big, big stretch. Yeah. Okay, good. Big stretches. Yeah, this stream. We're we're so chill and whatnot, relaxed. This does feel about the right thing to do. But we do like it when it gets tense every now and then. So. What? Slot three, please. Thank you. Turn off all the lights. There's uh, one of those hypnotizing things right there. All right, well, now we can see. Yeah, yeah. There's those. Wasn't there a bunch of quartz, like, out here? Wow, okay, so we found this spot. That was quick. Not where I wanted to go. Oh, come on. Where's, like, the go-to quartz spot? Uh, salt? I'll take the salt. Swoop on that salt. There we go. We need quartz, though. In here? No? <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's an actual curtain of them. Scoot through there. Ah, that's more salt. Ah, I won't. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, I won't scoff at the salt. Salt equals water, and water equals good. So that's that's important for us. Um, from what you've seen of the game, this game makes people feel tense. <laughs> yep. I mean, it depends. I'm like totally over these guys now. Like, they, I'm so unfazed by these guys and those guys. They just, they don't phase me anymore. All I'm finding are salt. Is salt? All I'm finding is salt. All 
Yeah, let's get some air real quick. Yep, no two. Whoop. And back down. So I'm still on the hunt for quartz. Ah! Oh, jeez. That... Oh, man, those still get me. <laughs> Half the time, those still make me jump. Just because I'm not expecting them. There we go. A little bit of quartz. Ah, here we go. Quartz jackpot. We found it. Oh, and we... Hello? Hello? Can we find any secrets? Do you have any secrets? No? There's a box over there. Alright, we'll just pick up this quartz. I didn't find anything that useful with our little um, look into the fourth dimension. Yeah. Nope, there's another one. Of that sulfur water here. Yeah, there's only so much of it, and who knows what we need it for. So might as well grab it. Ah, more quartz. Nice. Oh, oh, that makes me nervous. It's a lot of them. Nope, please. Okay. Alright. Got one. Where the heck did the other one come from? More quartz. Good. Hmm. Over here. Oh, you're a bunch of sulfur. How are we looking? Just about full. Alright. Can we find any more quartz? Because where are we floating at? <sighs> floating at eight? Yes, please. Can we get any more? More quartz is always good. We could use it. <laughs> yeah. That was bright. Right, more salt. That's not bad. I know we've already been through here. Oxygen. Yep, I'm on it. Whoop. <laughs> what? What? Why are we? Why are we reing? What's going on? What happened? What's caused an influx of re? Um, did I like miss a whole bunch of quartz? Oh, hello. All right, we'll go one way and we'll go the other. Hello, sir. That just sounded like he died to something else, not to... All right, up and out. <laughs> All right, up and out. Nope, nope. No, those explosion fishes are re-fishes. They really are. They, they, you know what? They really are. Oh, I wanted that. There you go. Nabbed him. Oh. Well, let me dodge this guy. Both of them. Excuse me. Hang on. Let me dodge both of them while I go pick up some of these purple boys. Man, I love how fast you're on the sea glide. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, I missed him. Nope, oh, I missed him again. Fine, we'll go for this one. There we go. There we go. Up and down. What are we looking at? Almost full. One more something, and we'll head back. They don't scare me anymore. Also, uh, wait, time to up and out? After seeing one of those caves? I mean... Well, I don't want to be enclosed in, like, a tiny space with them. That's terrifying. Because my main strategy for dealing with them is they're not super fast and they can't turn on a dime, right? It's like, see, it's like here, and if you just turn, if you just keep turning, they can't do anything. So the moment I'm stuck in a cave and I can't, like, either outrun them or outstrafe them, that's a, that's a problem. Oh, that's awkward. I'm sure the denizens of this cave really love that. I knew there was one in here. Right, let's do a little bit of pruning here. Oh, we shouldn't do that with a full inventory. 
Let me empty my inventory first, then we'll come back out here and do a little gardening. Welcome aboard, Captain. Whoops, the daisies. Uh, nothing for this one. <sighs> Got a lot of sulfur. Yeah, we did. Uh, a lot of quartz. Good. Uh, oh, and salt. Good. Oh, that's right. We need the titanium and the quartz. All right, let's grab this quartz. Let's grab the building tool. There we go. Got another one of these bad boys right there. There we go. Bam. Gardening, I know it's. But you know, it's hey, it's. it's it's legal garden. We've we've got a permit, all right. We have a permit for this garden. You don't understand, man. All right, so I want to fill up this one first. I want this one to actually be the full one. There we go. And this will be the backup one. So we'll just split them for now, but we'll always pull out of the center. And these on the back will be our reserves. Our long-term deep reserves. But do you have a license for that permit? Uh-oh. He got me there. Guys, guys, start running. Start the engine. <laughs> okay, good. Got him. Let's go get some water. Oop, that's not water. Let's get some water. Ooh, new? That's right. We need a wiring kit, a battery, and titanium. Wiring kit is too silver. I think we have enough for it. Let's get some filtered water. <laughs> uh. Okay. Bunch of water. Good. Let's go pick up some melons. You're still active? All right, then we'll just get melons out of our actual garden, like our food garden. All right. Drop four. Open this sun up. Drop four. Perfect. There we go. All right, back up and running. You have anything in here for me? Oh, my goodness. Look at this water and whatnot in here. Yes. A little full, but we need um, we need batteries. So we'll take an empty battery because I'm pretty sure it just <laughs> pretty sure it just makes a full battery. So we'll take an empty battery. Uh, we will drop off salt. We will pick up two. Did I pick up two? No, I picked up one. Two silvers um, and a titanium. Okay, let's make that propulsion cannon. Ah, wiring kit. I need that. Wiring kit, there we go. A food chest? Yeah, we probably should do a food chest. You're probably right on that one. Did you mention in the stream that you beat... Oh, you beat Dark Souls 3? Nice! That's really cool, man. Like, that that's a tough... Oh, my, this thing's huge! It takes up so much inventory space. Why? Ow. Oh, okay. Yeah, we probably should set up a food chest, like, here and here. Or, like, on this wall or something. Hmm. That was the game you went back to run through it again? Nice. Yeah, those games are tough, man. I'm planning on, like, playing around... I'm planning on, like, looking into playing around with one of them in two months. See if we want to or not. All right, so is there anything else we need here, or are we good to go? We have a propulsion cannon. We've emptied out our inventory for the most part. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need, right? We can go back? Yeah, 
Yeah, because we can't, we don't have any, um, we don't have any of that ore. So there's something we can do. All right, cool. So let's, let's hop back up here. Let's go take a quick nap. Yeah, let's go nap out. Yeah, we really need like a poster or something on our on our ceiling instead of looking at the word locked <laughs> for like a door or a shaft or whatever that is supposed to be like an, a maintenance shaft or something. It just says locked. Not really the best thing to be staring at in the middle of the night. <sighs> Get some work done. All right, enough of this. All right, off to adventure. Away! Let's go jump in our Seamoth, which is not fully repaired. Oh, you go right through it. Okay, then. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I did it. Jeez, all right. Let's uh, let's go repair this bad boy up real quick here. Okay, out we go again. Um, do you have posters on your ceiling? No, I don't. But I don't sleep on my back. Studies have shown that sleeping on your side is better for you than sleeping on your back. You get a more restful sleep. Lies? No, go look into it. There's a reason why most animals sleep on their side. You sleep on your front? There you go. Same thing. It's just the back apparently is harder on the airways and something, something, something. More likely to snore if you're on your back. Something, something, something. Not great sleep. I don't remember it well. Uh, I, so don't take my word for it. But that's I'm pretty sure it's what it said. I feel confident. Yeah. You know? Go nuzzle up next to the side of the big ship real quick again. Because I don't like the big open water. This massive ravine. It's quite literally impossible for you to sleep on your back. Never done it. I think it's to asthma. Yes, yeah, it, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's harder on breathing. It's the reason why people snore more often when they're on their side. Or on their back. As opposed to on their side. And why when they roll over to their side it's generally okay. You force yourself to sleep on your back because it's better for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm... and you checked. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I'm wrong then. All right, it happens. I'm not. A, I'm not a perfect man. I try. I'm not perfect. I don't remember everything. I remember some things. Not everything. I just remember there's like a huge debate on what side you should be sleeping. Oh yeah, yeah. Sand sharks. Leave me alone. I don't like that shaking. <laughs> shaking still makes me nervous. Oh, look at that. I'm not going to get out and grab... Well, you never know what it's going to be, do you? You never know what it's going to be. Now oh, it's just a med kit. Oh, come on. Don't give me a, a radio signal now. Bad timing. Okay, so where was that piece that was, like, dipping into the water? And stop there. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty fun fan club, but um, the hardest part is that there there aren't too many people in it. Now, there's a, there's a low membership count. Is it out here? Am I underneath it again, like I was last time? Wouldn't be surprised. Survey says. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, it says thunk. Yeah, yeah, I'm underneath it again. Let's back up and around here. Blunk. Okay, here we go. I'm really good at this, guys. Trust me. Ace pilot. Ace pilot. So I can help reduce snoring, and if you sleep on... You left. It reduces heartburn. Really? 
I guess it does make sense because our hearts aren't... Oh, let me, not, let me grab this. Because uh, our hearts aren't directly in the center of us. That just kind of makes sense. Back offers the most health benefits. Really? There we go. Hmm. And with the internet, we can solve all of our problems. <laughs> so there we go. Ow, fire. Ow, fire bad. Skirt around. Nope, no titanium. Just <laughs> looking for our titanium bits and pieces. Ah. Can I, can I grab? No. <laughs> Those two bits of titanium are there forever now. Alright, so we went down there. Alright, let's try this repulsion thing. Hopefully this works. If not, then I feel really ridiculous about coming all the way back here. Oh. 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 <gasps> wow, it uses a lot of power. Okay, so we don't have to, like, push it. Eh, come on you. Eh, nice. Whoop, and over. Whoop, and over. Perfect. Man, we just burnt through almost half of our power right there. Ugh, <laughs> it's Sorcerer who's missing a leg? Oh man, that's got to be a great story for how he lost that leg. Do not match any known offensive technologies. Uh oh. I go through data logs now. <laughs> oh, hints and clues. Captain's quarters. Uh, before the last communication, Ontario set up a uh, high security terminal. The captain's quarter behind that code is 272679. 2679. Oh, okay, not for this one. Let's try it again. Um, note to self. Birthdays. Okay, that's not helpful. Life pod transmission. Well, <laughs> are we... Um, are we Are we not supposed to be here yet? Four one, nope. Four one five nine. Ah, dang it. Okay, I don't know. Um, isn't this the cargo bay? Yeah, it's, it's for the cargo bay. And I don't, I don't have any notes or anything. I see here. Oh, we even listen to this. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So. I started looking for a natural... Ah, no, we've already heard this one before. ...we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. What? More than I can say for father. Oh, that's terrifying. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more... tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. Mm. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other... Well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? Oh, it's a note to self? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment oh. unit and get up close to them. Thanks, Golfer. I was close though. Did you see that? I was actually really close. Look at that. Look at that. One four five four. Did you not see my last one? I, just, I did four five nine. I was really close. I almost had it. 
I'm very proud of myself. Well, this doesn't look good. I'm proud of myself. We, we did a good job, team. J good job. You almost guessed it. Thanks. I t I, somehow I totally missed that when I was reading notes to self. Uh, so here's where we finally have water. We cross the galaxy to install phase gates, send ships to mining resources to build another more expansive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? It's pretty funny. Um, 40 weeks before we get home, 400 weeks. It feels like before we get home, not enough credit. Some Terra's paying me. Um, and the cargo bay. Funny. Hey, how's it going, Kristen and Jen? We finally made it into the into the thing. We did it. 18 months? Holy moly. That's really long. Hey, how's it going, Blazing? Welcome. Thanks for the follow. How are you doing? But 18 months? That's ridiculous. Oh, look at this. Okay. A nutrient block, yes. I love I love my nutrient in block form. Can we make one of these? Can we can we make oh, I wanna make one. I guess they're not seaworthy. Uploading data to B E D A. Okay. Or that. Whatever it was. I've only heard it a hundred times, it's fine. Uh, public documents. Oh man, I have to look away from the fire. <laughs> Transgov uh, Profile at Corp, one of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation, the official supplier of the TFF, uh, TSF uh, ranking things. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Uh, consistently ranked among the galaxies. Uh, best employers. Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> They're not paying that guy enough. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm driving an under a forklift underwater chain. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, it's like, I would love to ram into one of those guys. It would be great. It would be great. I'd love that. Um, where we go? Uh, although most transgov can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera literally means by Earth. Is the only one brazen enough to take its name. The expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides. Oh, geez. Uh, acquiring and housing a vast co uh, colonist workforce and making the transition from manufacturer to corporate state. Oh. Altera's threat to seize trade. To seize trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of the hostilities and the signing of the charter. Free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition is tight, and all goods exported off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable businesses are brought are bought out by the state. Owners ascended to the board of directors. Well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops Submersible originated from such private enterprises. I like how you can like scroll down really hard and like kind of it tries it, it really tries but then it just bounces you back up it's really funny um <laughs> despite superficial uh similarities to governments uh to national governments the corporation's lawyers have always sustained uh, maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees but voluntarily elects to take on the role usually served by democratically elected governments this claim has not yet been tested in federation courts okay Interesting little bit story on what's going on with it. All right, we're gonna. Yeah, hear you. I don't want to use all my fire extinguisher if I can help it. I'd like to have a little bit of extra fire extinguisher left. Is there any goodies hiding in here? Can I hop up here? Oh yeah, I can. I don't want to get stuck somewhere. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be. Is there anything in here? Do we have anything in here? Nope, 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 nope. All right. What the? We are definitely not standing on this. We're not as low as we should be. It's funny. Okay, this looks like some sort of power lift gate thing. It does look like we can swim back up if we go in. 
Yeah, so we can. Ah, it's supposed to go in here, I see. <laughs> that would be really bad for this container with disinfected water. Good, good. More forklifts. We have the drive room and the Seamoth Bay. We have things. What are these? What are you? A bleeder. That's not a good name. I don't like that. Oh, don't come near me. Oh, get him off me. What do I... Okay. Get off me, you. <laughs> Tried to shake him loose. Didn't really work. Alright, it seems to be a one-shot. Are they eating each other? They eat each other! They're cannibals! Ew. They're like weird leeches. They look like inhalers. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Um... Sure. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, teach his own. No. Oh, it's damaged. Hold on. Get a quick repair in here. It's, yeah, it's underwater mosquito. That's, that's gross. Okay. Can I open these? No. Oh, PDA. VR suit log. PDA data. VR sweet log. Sorry, sweet, not suit. Uh, loading program desert island drama. Dot VR at. Or VRAT. Uh, size three players. Resources normal. Spawning players on beach. Player one has been washed away by an unusually high tide. Player two has traded a coconut to player three for ten credits. Player three has planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. Player three has grown a coconut tree. Player 3 has eaten a coconut. Player 3 is no longer hungry. Player 3 has traded a coconut to Player 2 for 30 credits. Player 2 has eaten a coconut, but is still hungry. Player 3 traded a coconut with Player 2 in exchange for building a tent. Player 3 is sleeping inside their tent. Player 2 is cold. Night falls. <laughs> a passing ship is offering trade. Player 2 has traded 30 credits for a musket. Player 3 has been shot twice in the head while sleeping. Player 2 wins. Player 2 has died of cold and starvation. Fun games, guys. Gotta love fun games. You know, co-op games are the best games. We, we love those. You know, they're important. It's good for good for morale on a ship. Um, something, something, something. <laughs> uh, that didn't really go as well as I would have expected. Sounds like good times. Man, Player 2 had, like, um... Or Player 3. Whoever, whoever bought the original Coconut... Really had a monopoly going on food. He should have just kept doing that. He shouldn't have pushed for a cut. Um... Oh, here we go. We finally found something we can use this on. Um, he had like a monopoly on food. He really shouldn't have been like pushing his luck and make that guy build him a tent. Like, <laughs> build your own tent. Help him build his uh, the other tent, and then just keep trading money or items for food. Just monopolize that food. It's like molten. Is there air in here? Barely. Okay. Got some lockers. Health kit. Ah, a PDA. Sweet offer. Ooh, I do like a sweet offer. From Higgins to Wilson. Uh, you're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you've never took a ride on the outside? <laughs> well, now, you've, on, uh, you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with, those, with the keys to a giant frickin' robot suit. Uh, we've planned, uh, we've planned not gone, what? We've plain got nothing to do till we get star sign to work on the gate. Uh, you want a taste of the stars? You've only got to say. Uh, my spare prawn suit got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented arms. Want to play catch with a passing meteorite? Come to cabin number one, codes 1869. That is a sweet offer. I do want to feel the power of crushing an asteroid in my bare, mechanically enhanced arms. I just want to hug it to death. That sounds amazing. Prawn Bay. 
Okay. Auxiliary mission orders. Oh. Okay. Mission, search and rescue. Really? Okay. Target crew of Mongolian vessel Degasi. We came to, to help the Degasi. Holy moly. All right. So our mission was to come here to get the Degasi. And those that's who we've been listening to those logs of before. Interesting. Okay. Last known uh, position. Uh, vicinity of planet 4546B. Uh, of the Adrian Arm, contact with going embassy, uh, or in passenger quarters. Okay, so that explains the, the embassy that died. <laughs> uh, mission brief. A Mongolian vessel, the, the Gazi, disappeared almost a decade ago. Okay, so now we're getting some time frames in here. Okay. Uh, carrying with it a high-ranking Mongolian chef. Okay. Uh, corporate insurance is per... Uh, purchase passage along the Aurora for Emissary Kassar, and you, uh, your orders are to uh, make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degazi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Uh, confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian consul, uh, councils. We'll drink in a minute. <laughs> we'll breathe in a minute. Uh, mission details arose due to perform a slingshot maneuver around uh, 4546B, Category 3 Ocean Planet, approximately 13 months post-launch. Okay, uh, This will bring the ship within range of the Degas' last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been uh, included in the cargo patch for this mission. Degas' crew manifest has been uh, distributed to senior management... Whoops. A little water. Uh, senior employees in a separate message. There we go. Chef? Oh, wait. Did it say chief and I said chef? Whoops. Yeah, chief. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's an important chef here that we need. I need I need to know his recipe. Like, yeah, we, we need to send an entire ship and its entire crew to make sure that we can get that ship recipe. Or the, that recipe from that chef. Because that was super, super important. Best dumplings I've ever had. Um... Eh, I was close. <laughs> I tried. Zoop. Okay. Interesting, the fire's just floating on the top there. Living quarters, okay. Right. Vital signs stabilizing. Strength the ones that only give me 20 at a time. I feel like we should go back to the other location, but I guess we'll go here first. See if there's anything we can scan. Oh, hang on. Okay. <laughs> Wiggling. What are these things? Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Prawn suit. Mark three. Oh, cool. oh, can we make one? Self scan F. What? Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and mm. immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Okay. <laughs> well. I mean, I think we already knew we were infected. We had the big robot thing tell us so. On suits. Need one more. I guess we'll have to try and jump and nab that one. Once we think we can go. Whoop. Let's see if we think we can get up here. Right, I'm sure we can grab these, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's way more power can uh, conserve like, conserve a lot more power doing it that way. Power conservation is important. All right, let's check out in here. Living quarters. All right. Oh, jeez. Ooh, alcohol. No. Okay. Oh, 
Ooh, a bar table. Yes, please. I would love this. I know right where to put it. Chairs. Ooh, a single wall shelf. Oh, that's kind of fun. Guess it's not actually a door. New PDA. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Yes, we need this. We need that. Alright, guys. <clears throat> Snap Blue, what are you guys getting today? Um, oh man, I think I'm going to get... Oh, it's always a tough choice, isn't it, right? I mean, I like the baked beans, but I think I'm going to go with the ham and cheese. Um, no. No, let's go with the barbecue sliced beef. I never really get that, right? Uh, and we'll get that with a side of mac and cheese. Bam, there we go. Perfect. Mac and cheese and barbecue sliced beef. Oh, maybe coleslaw. It's a little hot in here. Maybe let's go with the coleslaw. Let's not go with anything like hotter, right? Let's do that one. You can get some baked beans. Uh, baked beans are always a good go-to. But I think I'm going to change things up. We're going to get the sliced beef. Uh, barbecue sliced beef and coleslaw. Mm. Man, I really want coleslaw now, actually. It's... Ah, oh, dang it. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> why, do, why do I talk about food? Come on. Oh, I want, I want coleslaw. Ooh, supply. <gasps> Nutrient blocks. I do like those. Ooh, orange blocks. Filtered water. Good. Filtered water. I like that. No barbecue. That's a little sad. It, yeah, it's true. It is really hard to mess up baked beans, but I have had someone do that before. Let's just say it wasn't delicious. Cabin one, cabin three. Oh, a single bed. Oh, oh, I mean, come on. We need the big bed, though. Like, a single bed. Well, nice. We need the big bed. Oh, we got a carry-all. Nice. Some more water. Oh, no way. These things store stuff? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Let me pick that up. Leave some, leave some titanium in here. Oh, ooh, a bench. Nice. Food for days. I know, right? Well, this room was totally worth it. I tried to remember. <laughs> I, t I tried. Um, one eight six nine. Ah, close. Another carry all. I don't need that much stuff. Although I will go ahead and use. Do we have three of those? Crazy. Oh my goodness, we're taking this. <laughs> oh, PDA, here we go. Responsible anonymous relationships. Oh, a hat! Oh man. Just gonna have to drop some more titanium here. I need this, get this hat, I need to get this water. I might as well pick this up too over here. This <laughs> is titanium just floating around. Fill the pack. Wait, can we do that? Wait, does that work? No. Yeah, pack's not empty. Can I pick up? Okay, I was going to say. I was going to say, no way. <laughs> My melon worked right on that one. I got it. On I got it that time. Um, locks. And... Responsible relationships. Responsible anonymous relationships. Forwarded by Jenny Urquhart. All, all the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value, support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. 
It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging other, uh, their original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. Uh, it's an interesting way to put it. Uh, if one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing uh, competitively. There's always room for improvement. Oh my goodness, what this, this right here. Wow, that's a thing. Holy smokes, okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, oh, today's menu, all right. Mm, who's ready? All right, today's menu. We have the starter. Space Bear Viole. Vi v Vela? How do you pronounce that? Veal? V Veal? I don't know. The, the E is silent, right? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, since their introduction to the inter uh, interstellar vacuum in the 21st century, uh, microscopic oh tardigrades or space bears those are the super super duper duper tiny things yeah the ones that you can just float in space and apparently they're fine has adapted and flourished where no other life form have survived uh condensed into a smooth nutty protein rich soup they are the finest local ingredient available so travelers on uh to travelers on long-haul space flights pass uh, the main course, cottage pie or nutrient block. I think I'll go with the cottage pie. That sounds way better. Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy, served with a topping of mashed Chinese potato, picked fresh this morning from onboard grow beds, and a side of uh, saute Chinese mushroom plant leaves. Doesn't sound too bad. For the time-conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block option are available. Uh... They may be consumed cold or reconstituted in an on-site fabricator. Dessert, dried fruits and nuts. Unfortunately, a recent accident in Cargo Bay 3 uh, involving the incorrect application of a repulsion cannon. We know who messed that one up now, don't we? We heard that log. <laughs> Must have punched a hold in there. Uh, in combination with a modified battery charger. Okay. Uh, resulted in the venting almost all space of all dehydrated uh, desserts. Fruits and nuts will be the only available dessert until week 39. Until, for the next 39 weeks. Ooh, he's in trouble. The crew is not happy with him. Skirt around that. Don't die. Can't open. Captains. Uh, one, three, four, five? No, okay. Captain's log. Two, six, seven, nine. Not even close. Open up, Captain. Kind of weird that the Captain's quarters is by the cargo bay. A little awkward. Captain's log. <clears throat> Captain's log. Loading program. Craig McGillan Simulator dot rat. Size, oh, this is, he's playing games. <laughs> okay, size one player, Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Excuse me? Okay. Map Boreal 9, resources normal. You're exploring a quaint alien backwater uh, when, you're, when the ship you arrived here in and it implodes. It must have been the arachnid kidney, what, poachers? What, quickly! What do you do? Search the search the crash site. Farm alien plants. Use the tectonic de-imploder unavailable. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's just what uh, Craig McGill would do. Uh, after foraging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs, uh, which will sustain yourself with. Which will sustain yourself with? Uh, stank root, tree roaches... And Starwall eggs. Uh, none of those sound good. While Starwall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast spacefaring creatures is much too sl slow to sustain a farm. And besides, their mother is extremely angry with you. Fight the Starwall, apologize with the Starwall, accept your fate. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Craig McGill knows there's no reason a reason with the mother scorn. You are not uh, not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and digested. The atoms that you uh, that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in uh, in source of the star walls continued survival. These games, man, they're a little brutal. Oh, new poster. I, I don't have anything more to drop. Uh. Okay, there we go. Got some space. Now we're talking. Oh. Ooh, wall shelves. Miniature. A Neptune escape rocket. Time capsules. Okay. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a small number of items, time capsules are often fabricated by marine survival, uh, survivors seeking uh, either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future or to leave evidence of their plight, which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most uh, emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default. Uh, usually found in the cockpit and to be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requires uh, time capsules to be stocked with we uh, with tool weapons, <laughs> with tools and resources, which will aid those who may discover be discover them in the future. Okay, what else did I find? Ah, recording. Okay. Average long range transmission delay eight hours. Opening us to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. <gasps> Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution. Out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and send you, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications. Mm. Offline. Okay, so, so that's good. Also, the voice actor that did the um, the old man of the Degazi apparently did the, <laughs> did the captain on the... On this ship as well, so I was definitely using the wrong voice for that. Oh my goodness! Seriously, relationship conducted legal record uh, recording. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. <gasps> You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And mm. I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Oh my. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Those backstack things are the worst. Yeah, they're kind of disappointing, aren't they? Uh... Drop some of those aid kits. Yeah, we probably should drop some of them. The med, med kits don't really need. Also, this thing is completely out. So, um... We'll drop this guy. Drop those. Uh, we'll drink a little more water. Definitely want the batteries over anything else. But, oh my goodness. I want to change the terms of our, of our arrangement for our situation here. It's like, oh, okay, how so? I would like to, to never see you again. How, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Does make any sense? We'll take the water, because I know we're, like, we're going to be running through water pretty quick here. 
Hopefully we don't need to go through that door. Okay, good, we can't. Good, good. <laughs> I was going to say, because we're all kind of kind of all out of the ability to do that. The batteries, so we'll take that in a second. Man, there's a lot of batteries here. <gasps> what is this? Natural selection. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Look at this thing. It's like Predator. Or something. Um... Drink the water. Grab the poster. Medical stuff. There's there's really nothing in here, is there? You know, maybe I just drop one of these. I really don't need two carry-ons. Right? Do we need two carry-ons? Do we need two of those carry-alls? Maybe. We can drop this titanium, though. Got the battery. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're okay. We'll go with this for now. You know the few trips for all this stuff? Yeah, we really do, don't we? That's okay. We should be okay with this, though. Unless we run into more things. Should be okay. So we need to go scan that thing. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> oh, I broke my glass. Okay. Scan this guy from here. Ah, we can. Perfect. Big old scan. Yeah. Now we're talking. Unlocked. Wait, is there anything in here? Oh! Alright, there we go. Fire extinguisher. Perfect. Okay, is there anything in here that we need? I'm still gonna check, because I feel, feel like I should. Just in case, you never know, right? No, that's not a thing, okay. Let's try this way. This might go somewhere. Um, <laughs> we're not. Okay. Just one last corner, and we've tried all the corners here. Oh, hey, here we go. Okay. Oh, more data. We found the black box data. New PDA data. Nice. Is he going to talk to us about it? Data logs. Altera Pan Alms pamphlet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to read that right now. Black box. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's get some air. We can read them. Right, we're going to stay like, right underneath the superheated metal up here. This looks like a safe spot. We'll hang out right here. All right. Aurora Black Box Data. Uh, initia initialize slingshot maneuver around planet 4546B. A high velocity energy pulse detected on planet's surface. Emergency distress, distress call sent to Alter uh, Altera listening buoy via long range uh, comm relay. Uh, impact detected. Life pod bays on starboard side. Uh, compromised. Outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. Manual piloting transferred to Captain Hollister. Life pod 0 through 25 launched successfully. Oh, that's right, because the other side got absolutely beamed, right? That, make, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with this robot suit. It's going to be cool. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat. My bad. Entering planetary atmosphere. Massive impact. Uh, registered. Drive core. Shield. Compromised. Emergency... Uh, bounce back received from eight life pods on planet surface. Human life science. Oh, I can't read that. Human life science detected um, over long range at T plus. Okay, so time plus uh, eight hours. One. Uh, personnel unaccounted for, non essential systems. Uh, maintenance chief uh, Riley Robinson. Altair HQ rescue solution received at 
T plus eight hours on high priority terminal in captain's quarters. Uh, monitoring equipment failed at uh, T plus 13. Okay. Head back down here. What other goodies do we got? Supply crate. More bat. More batteries. <laughs> uh. E block. Nom 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 nom. Okay. All right. Go and cut the store down. Is sleepy time for you? All right. Take care, Voro. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and hanging out, man. Hope to see you tomorrow when we continue on. I don't know how far we're going to get today. Hopefully I can get through all the Aurora stuff. Because I'm pretty sure there's another path we did not take. So we're going to have to, like, backtrack at some point. Anything good over here? I'm getting stuck on stuff. Let's not go near the electricity stuff. Alright, so this... Uh oh we're going to need another password. I don't know if we have a password for this. Let's get some air and we'll take a look at our stuff and see if uh, this is a password we haven't done yet. Alright. What kind of password have we not done yet? So, that one doesn't have a password. This one doesn't have a password. This is legal stuff. No, today's menu. Nope, it's not in public documents. We are sweet. Nope. Nope, and... Nope, it's not this one. Not any of the Degazi stuff. Let that go. Codes. Sweet cabin, we already used that one. Note to self, we already used that one. We already used this one. So those are the three we've used. So I guess we don't have the... We don't have that code yet, do we? Like pod, like pod, like pod, like pod, like pod. Rendezvous, okay, it's fine. Nope. Captain's log? No. Okay, so it's not in this one. It's not in equipment. It's not in advanced theories. Alright, so I guess we don't have the don't we have the, I guess we don't have the code yet. Alright. We'll have to come back. Oh. No, it's not a way. Alright, we'll have to come back at some point. Because uh, apparently we don't have the uh we don't have the code to get in there. Uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Maybe we can get it from going to the other side. Who knows? Because again, I'm pretty sure there's a spot we missed. Right? Back to the locker room. Let's go back this way. Okay, let's go through the locker room. Oh, <laughs> bust that out of the way. Somehow it... Somehow it got moved back in there. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, the drive room. So we didn't go to the drive room, did we? We went straight left. We went in Seamoth Bay, but we didn't go to the drive room. So check out the drive room. See if we can get information from in here. Another battery. Drive core shielding. Sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Ooh. Ah, good. <laughs> we picked up a spare. Good, good. Let's get rid of this fire here. Become extinguished. Right. My goodness, look at this place. <laughs> wow, those graphics, amazing. Um, huh. Similar kind of ladders, crazy. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Oh, an efficiency module. Can I pick this up? I've eaten too much already. Uh, we'll drop this. Up. Oh. Uh, let's not drop it like that. Let's drop it here. Drop it. There you go. We'll leave it on. Goodness. Re uh, recycles heat by pro uh, by production and increases engine efficiency. Sounds useful. Ooh, scan. Come on. A breach. Drive core shielding breach. The Aurora's drive core is shielded by a thick metal shell, which uh, 
breached in multiple locations shortly after the crash. One breached, um, once breached, it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. After that point, the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. This procedure should only be attempted with appropriate radiation protection and a fully charged repair tool. Oh, okay, cool, perfect. I mean, it's, it's half it's half charged, but we can do it. I believe in us. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay, so there's ten more. Cool. So if we do this, we don't need a radiation suit, I guess. Further breaches detected. Guess we have to go swimming. Huh? All right. Let's go and work on this. Get this up and running. Containment breach repaired. Further Eight more. Detected. Any more on this drive post? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Ah, oh, there's one. No. Oh. What? What? Come on. Give it, give it to me. There we go. <laughs> it wouldn't let me do it. Containment breach repaired. Okay. Further breaches detected. Ah, there's another one I missed. Ah, there's more of those bleeders. Alright, let's get this one. Oh, stay off you. No, get off me. Get off me. Where's my knife? Where's my knife. Get off. Ah, monsters. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Come over here and start sucking on my arm. Goodness. Those guys are rude. They didn't ask permission or anything. Super clingy. Hello? Oh, goodness gracious. Get off me. <laughs> Did not expect him to suddenly be there. Make me slash you to death. I will do it. Get off you. Yeah, that's right. What you gonna do now? Okay, good. Some of these guys don't care about radiation. But I have a feeling we're gonna get jumped up. Oh, there's another one. Get ready. There he is. <sighs> really annoying. Oh, let's get some more air. Get some good old like. So here's the one thing I don't get. We have to let air into the suit, so and we're breathing it. How are we not being irradiated by the, you know, like the isotope heavy air, right? That's my question. I think there's another one following us. Either that or just our fins. I'm not sure. One, two, three. I think these are the last three. Nice. Alright, we got it done. Woo! Yep, one, two. Yep, there he is. Get off me. <laughs> I guess we're gonna... Get off me. I guess we're gonna need to use that, rep uh, that heal kit that we dropped up above. Our health is actually really hurt. Extinction event avoided. Oh, Drive achievement unlocked. Radiation levels decreasing. Well, we're gonna need more. <laughs> we need more repair kits or healing kits. Is there anything else down here, or do we grab everything? Look at that. Does it look like there's anything we can scan here? Nope. No, I don't see any like scrap or anything in here. I don't think I see anything up above either. All right, I think we're done here. There's that one area we couldn't get into, though. Was there something on that post? On that post over there? There's something on this one. There might be something up here. Oh. <laughs> Can't quite see it. Hang on. Let's jump up. Oh, let me up. There we go. Is there something in here? 
Nope. Self scan? Infected. Thank you. <laughs> Good to know. Alright, I guess we'll head back. Does this actually work? Oh, it does. Cool. Alright, perfect. Let's go hop around. So, is there anything else for us here in, in this place or no? Until we get the code for that last spot. I don't even know if that's necessary for us. Right? Hmm. Alright, so we'll head on back. Uh, we'll go and drop off all the stuff we've got in our inventory. Um, and then we'll jump onto the next adventure, which I think is Life Pod 12. Life Pod 12 is our next goal. Right, air docks or air locks more like more like water locks at this point though am I right there we go around about let's get back into our sea all right hi crabs <laughs> bye crabs I'm out of here all right, cool. So we got a repulsion gun and we got a, um, a cutter now. Unfortunately, I feel like we're going to be carrying too much stuff in our inventory now. It's a little disappointing if that's the case. I hope this is sunrise, not sunset. Oh, up and over. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Capitan. And away we go. It's still shuddering though, which is a little annoying. We fixed the drive core. Maybe maybe it'll stop shuddering soon. I don't know. We shall see. Well, let's head on back to the main base. Uh, now that we've gone and picked up, is this tail stuck? Whoop! Hello, you. Whoop. It's not, it's not smashing into things. Oh, come on. The fact that, like, I can't believe there's stalkers out here. Like, I could I thought stalkers were, like, kelp forest only. I guess they're, uh, shallow only. They just stay to high level elevation. Like this. See, like, there he is. Just doing his thing. Mm. <laughs> Run through a bunch of fish. Oh, quartz. I would like to pick up more quartz, but... Our inventory seems to be a little full at the moment. Yeah, we got enough space for one. <gasps> Another battery, don't mind if I do. We've picked up seven batteries since <laughs> we've been here. Uh, that's a sea glide, right? Yeah, sea glide's fine. Hello, big guy. Alright, we're gonna keep on trucking. Get back on over here, get ourselves set up. Come on now. I do like the music in this game, it's really beautiful. I th <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, oh, it's probably some mating ritual we should not watch. Avert your eyes! Look the other way! We saw nothing. We'll just keep on going. This life pod. Let's get back to home base. I mean, these stalkers are everywhere now. I think I disrupted their like where they're supposed to be because now they're all over here now too. They used to only be in the um, in the kelp area, but no longer. I feel like it's because we put our base here. I think you guys are right. I think it is the metal. I think if they just go to wherever the metal is. All right. First things first. Got posters. Oh, 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 oh! The next phase of Altera exploration: the Aurora. Beautiful. This is another prawn. I guess we can stack them. Oh, it's slightly different. Look at that. Land and sea. 
deep dive. That's fish. Um, and then last but not least, the most important poster of them all. Oh, no, that's not the most important important poster of them all. This is. Where on earth are we going to put you? You're like the most important poster. You're like prominently displayed. All right, you're going in the center. Ready? Can we, can we get it where it doesn't clip like this, maybe? Where we can get three on here? No? No? Okay. We'll have those two there, and we'll put our kitty picture right here. In the food room. Which we probably should have a chair in here for us to relax on while we eat, you know? That makes sense. What do we have? Um, food, really. We do need a food chest. This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. <gasps> pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. It's the captain. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. I was the captain. Okay, let's go ahead and put a little food chest right here. There we go. Okay. And here we can now put our food and our water. Let's go move that. Let's move all of our food and water out of here. Out of the tools chest. <laughs> uh, we have a battery problem, guys. <laughs> we have too many batteries. All right. Oh, uh, that tool's chest is way too full. This in here. Could drop the stuff upstairs. Go. And we'll put our hat. Rotate it. No? No way to rotate? Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. I will rotate myself. On. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Got it. Alright. And then we need to get the little Aurora thing. Aurora miniature. Perfect. Put you right. Oh yeah, now our now our now our room's looking pretty fly. Now we're doing pretty good. All right, we also need to drop off our carry-on bags here, because this is where we sleep. So it's important we have these set up. We got one bag floating right here. Perfect. Another bag. I want them like slightly angled together. I don't want them like perfect. Oh, excellent. All right. Nice. Okay. Looking good. What else do we have here? Titanium and batteries to drop off. We can drop off the titanium. Okay, titanium dropped off. The batteries, though, I don't really know what we're going to do about that. I guess we don't need a second one of these. So we, can, we can chuck it. Um, <laughs> guys, we have too many batteries. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I guess we can use this instead of the other one now. We have a clothing chest upstairs. Does that work? Right? Like, we can... We should be allowed to use the rebreather now, right? So we can put, we can put this guy in here. Hopefully. Okay, so we'll <laughs> do that for now. Uh, let's go back over here. Tools. We'll drop off the efficiency thing. We'll drop the air bladder off again. Ah, we can check the air bladder. We don't need it. We don't need that many of them. Okay. Um, we can chuck one air bladder. We open it up again. Oh, it just hangs out in there. Cool. Wait, is the trash can just a 
storage device? Oh, no, it disappears after a while. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, we don't need two. We only need the one. We only need the one. Uh, those are good. And we got the laser cutter there. Actually, no, we want the knife just in case we have to fight off some stalkers or something. Perfect. All right, guys. Now what do we need to look at? What, do we, what are we focusing on next? What's the next big thing for us to jump on? We've done the Aurora. we got a whole bunch of stuff. What are some of the blueprints we got? A Neptune launch bay, which is going to require lead, computer chip, and titanium ingots. Okay. And a prawn suit, which requires plasteel ingots, diamonds, aerogel, enamel glass, and lead. We can actually probably make that. I think we have enough materials for that. Or we have enough for the plasteel. We have enough for the aerogel. We, ha we have enough materials for this. We can actually make a prawn suit right now. A repulsion gun cannon. Okay. Torpedo launcher. Good. I uh, don't have quite enough for this. Got Cyclops upgrades requires benzene. Oh, uh, no, we're not making that. I think we found one. Uh, is there anything else we want to make? Alien containment and nuclear reactor. Ooh, those sound good. Modification station. Ah, yeah. <laughs> we got the office chair. Bar table. Bench. Shelf and wall. These wall shelves are actually cool. But I don't think we're going to use them. Okay, so I guess the prawn suit's the only thing we can, like, make right now. I don't really see a need for it, you know? I don't see why we would want one. Um, I mean, it's, it's a big, crazy, big, crazy guy, but I don't know, like, right? Jetpack. Requires nickel and crystalline sulfur. Pfft, we haven't found that. Uh, we can make it a torpedo arm, though. Standard payload uh, delivery system adapted to fire torpedoes. Put that on there. Uh, otherwise, let's go find cargo bait or er, cargo. Bait. Let's go find life pod twelve. All right, let's go get life pod twelve. Sank to the bottom of the ocean. All right, we want. Do we want to bring anything with us? Do we have things we need to tag along? Let's grab some food and some water. Let's empty out this bad boy. Good. Drop off the water for the minute. Uh, we will go ahead and we'll grab all of our peepers. Two waters. Three waters, because we're thirsty right now. Okay. And we will... What do I want to drop off the salt? Drop off the salt. There we go. Um, Alright, let's go check this out. You up and running? You good to go? Wow, you're... Let's just say a little damaged. Okay, I can't I can't repair this right now. Hold on, let's jump out. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Now you can repair. Okay. There we go. Alright. Let's go find Life Pod 2. Let's go find that captain's coordinates. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> it's off the same way we just came from. Psst. Easy peasy, guys. Unless we want to go back over to where that... Let's go to that fallen ship space first. Nor west by northwest. So right here. Let's go back this way first. Because we we've already been over there. Let's, let's backtrack this way first. Because we said we were going to go do this. So let's go this way first. And then we'll jump over to where that life pod is. Because we might go and find some more components or something in that ship. Because now we've got the repulsion cannon, and we've got a laser cutter, um, and we've got a uh, full battery on our scanner. Full enough. I think I think we'll actually find some good stuff in there. Let's give that a good try. We're just going to keep on going this way. We'll get back up and over past the uh, uh, mushroom forest and down a little bit into the creepy, scary dark. Um, the void, the open void with nothing to hide behind. And, uh, hopefully we can pick stuff up. There is also those staticky lightning guys and some sort of weird crab monster there, too. So I don't know about those, but we'll see.
We'll probably just try and keep our distance from those guys. I don't know if they're good or bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming the lightning one's bad. I'm assuming they'll just short circuit. Like, he wants to rub against the sea moth and it's just going to short circuit everything. That's my assumption. We'll see. Right, so we're just going to shoot straight out. I like that the reef backs come this far out, though. Makes me feel makes me feel, feel safe here, you know? Like, if some, like, big, slow behemoth is out here, there's no big, scary thing to eat them, right? These guys are all, like, docile bunnies, right? And they don't, but they're slow. And right? they're not going to do anything like, super scary. So there's that lightning boy again. Where'd that crab thing go? I don't know. Anyway, uh, where was the space we were supposed to be at? I think it was on this side. I'm gonna go back in here. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable out there. Sorry, killing fish. Up. Oh, sorry, hitting things. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see if it was over here. So I think it was over here. Oh, I don't like this. It's all dark. It's night. I don't like doing this in the night. There's nothing out there. I can't see a thing. And the lights just... The lights don't make it any better. The light doesn't make it any better. We're going to come back in here for a second. All right, we're going we're gonna to float back in here. Where it's nice and light. We're going we're gonna to hang out here for a second, all right? We're going to hang out here for a second. I'm going to go and, <laughs> go and prep, prep myself some tea, all right? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna just relax for a minute in a place that I feel nice and safe in, you know? How are you guys doing today, right? How's, how's, how's it going, hmm? All right, let's get this ready here. Okay. Perfect. All right. I did not stall long enough. <laughs> um, whoop. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yep. I do not like how dark this is. This is making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> We're just gonna go back down here. I'm gonna hide in the hide in the bioluminescent area. Oh, it's a massive piece of quartz. Oh, now that's huge. Hang on, hang on. Can we? We tried with the laser cutter on other things earlier, and it didn't work. But let's just try again. Oh, come on. Just in case. No. Dang it. That would have been so nice if we could have gotten that. I feel like it's getting a little bit lighter. <laughs> just thought we just hide down here. Big behemoths. Let's go straight up and kind of see where we are. Oh, not straight up on top of one. It's got like camo legs. Crazy. Huh, is there anything like useful? What is this glowing thing on him? It's like a glowing barnacle? What is that? Now? Copper. Copper came out of his barnacle. What was that? Oh, it's one of these things. Can I kill it by running into it? It's one of the things... Yeah, it's these things that shoot spikes. So apparently you can break barnacles on their backs? Oh, for goodness sakes. It's one of those things. There's a lot of them out here. I wonder if that's where they get all their little foods and whatnot. It's from right here. All right, what are we looking at here? Big planet. Big moon. No sun. In and out rendering aurora. As as intended. Can we just like... No? <laughs> Only up and down, okay. Yep, can't see squat. Uh, I'm just going to float around these big guys for a bit here. I don't want to go down in the dark. Although, we can see down there. So, maybe we should go down there. Alright, I can kind of see. 
All right, well, fine. We'll, we'll check this out for a minute, and then uh, when it lights up a bit, we'll go elsewhere. We'll go where there's some bioluminescence. We'll just try and avoid the sparky guy and try to not short circuit our CMOS, because that sounds like a bad thing. Sounds like we can we can hear him. What is that? I don't know, but I don't like it. All right, we're gonna go this way. I don't like that noise. I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back right now. <laughs> I don't like that sound. That sound makes me very nervous. Oh my goodness, okay, we're going back. We can go hide in the reef. I don't like this music. Oh my goodness, I am so tense right now. All right. Ah, oh, there you go. All right, water's ready. Let's go get my tea. We'll just um. Shh. We'll just hide right here. It's gonna be fine. We'll just be nice and quiet. We'll just be nice and quiet right here. All right? This is this this is fine. Everything's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna relax right here for a minute. Pour myself some tea. All right. Good. All right. Looks like it's getting lights. I'm starting to see more. Hopefully it means it's turning into daytime. Man, that music was super ominous. Just out of nowhere all of a sudden. All right, so let's go back to where we were planning on going. Okay. Man, I was just... That's so freaky. Like, there's stuff, and then there just isn't. It just, it just, there, there's stuff, and then it just stops, you know? All right, well, it's daytime, so this is as much light as we're probably going to get. Let's go see if we can find that again. We're start, we must be going past the, um, that light zone or whatever. I'm blanking on what it's called again. Where light penetrates to the darkness. Oh my goodness, I so don't want to go out there. Uh, so that's not where the wreck is. Oh jeez, we're hitting the ground. <laughs> I'm making myself jump, that's so bad. Okay, we'll jump over here. Let's see if we can find where that... You slowly noping backwards there, big guy? Okay. Um, I'm right there with you. Where was that wreck? Let's find that wreck, alright? We're going back. That's that sounds about right. Yep, computer. I uh, believe you on that one. Uh, are you certain what you're doing is worth it? No, I was looking to see if there's a crash ship over there and hoping that maybe there might be something there useful. Uh, looks like we found it. It's over here. I I went the wrong way. Uh, we'll go over here instead. Let's go shelter our little our little boy here. No, oh, for goodness sakes. Go away, you. Go away. Ow. Okay. Ow, jeez, I just ran into myself with the sea moth. I'm just a monster. <laughs> ran myself over with my own vessel. It's wrong for me. Alright. Welcome aboard, Captain. Back in. Alright, so here's that crashed piece. Quartz down here. I don't want to get out. Warning. Oh! Alright. Oh, are you telling me I have to park here if I want to go down? Oh, come on. What is that? It just disappeared. All right, so this is definitely the place we need to be at. I'm confident this is an area we need to be at. But, oh my goodness, do I not want to go down there. <laughs> I just... Like, can we, like, stay up here where it's nice and pretty? With, like, all the mushrooms. All right, so we're going to go repair up. Okay. All right. Repair up. Let's get this guy on here. Okay, hop in. 
We're gonna get over to a spot. I saw some items on the ground that looks like we could scan them. So let's let's get a distance in, and then let's go on scanning mode. They're just they're they're just it's just those sharks. I wonder what this is. Oh, hitting the ground. Oh, that's not something I want to touch. Um, what are you? Silver. Okay. Give me my give me my ship back. Where'd it go? There it is. Just want to know for future. Rep. Prince. Maybe we should get some torpedoes. That thing over there looks like a predator. You know? How close can we get down here? That shark's coming to hit us. So it was over here I found some st I saw some stuff. And that might be something of important for us to scan. Yeah, I don't know what that thing is. That's making me nervous, though. Alright, so we're gonna... Yeah, so we seem to be far enough away from those guys. It's just the sandboys. It's a lot of sandboys. And a crab! Sandboy, leave me alone. And a crab, okay. I just want to make sure no one's going to bump this thing down below safe like, depth. Alright, we'll go here. Alright. Let's get going. <laughs> is there anything in here for us? Oh, there is! Look at this! Cyclops Depth Module Mark 1. Okay, so I guess we didn't have to be here yet. We don't have that yet. A drill arm! Oh, guys, I figured it out. I figured it out. What could possibly go wrong? Don't say that. <laughs> don't don't you dare do that to me. No, no, man. I'm, I'm on edge. I'm on edge. Oh... Get these drill arms. I feel safe when I'm like on the ground. You know, when there's when I don't know what's above me, somehow I feel safer. I don't know why that is. It must be because I'm a human. You know? That's one of those things. Us humans, we've never had to worry about things above us. We only ever have to worry about stuff like below or to the side of us, right? So I'm like so totally A okay. So long as I'm like skimming the ground. As evident by me constantly bumping my Seamoth into the ground. Um, anything else? No. I just want to be a squirrel. Just hug the ground. That's all. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's got to be there's got to be a way in here. All right, let's go get some more air. Let's go scan this thing first. Pick up the titanium because titanium is always useful. We can always use more. Yeah, sand sharks are a fairy tale anyway. Yeah, the sand, sand sharks, they're not a problem. They're, they're not the issue. It's that weird purple thing. That's just making me nervous. Oh man, I hate looking up. I just like want to ignore all of up. Uh, but yeah, so that means like we could probably go and do stuff on that. So that's good. There's got to be a way in. Also, we should check this other side over here. There's a large sandbar here, though. So we have 55 more power left on this bad boy. Anything over here? No? Also, Legro, welcome back. Haven't seen you in a while. How's, how's it been? Sorry, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm all over the place right now, right? But how are you doing? I'm doing okay. A little tense, but you know. Let's open up this door. Indoors we go. We want a brand new. Water. Pictures. Don't know what. Okay. All right. Uh, we need to laser cut this. We I, we might not have enough air. Getting through your last week of vacation. Oh man, get ready. You looking forward to it or nah? Looking forward to getting back to school?
Oh, hello. Cyclops shield generator. That's nice. All right, we're going to scan this thing, and we're going to go out and get some more air and come back. Uh, switch to three for faster speed. Because we have a ways to go to get back there. Because, <laughs> I, again, I would rather have this thing floating near the bottom, like near the, the sand, than floating above. I just don't want it to be, like, knocked around and knocked below its safe depth. That'd be really bad. We should try and see if we can scan that. Is this a scannable thing? No. Okay. Looks like it might be. What's up with these crabs? Like, <laughs> what are they doing? It's cool. Uh, you with a 30 plus year intellect having to actually work? Ah, I see. Yeah, school simpler times, right? Imagine having two plus months off. I know, right? Two plus months off to just, you know, forget most of the stuff you learned during school the year prior. Sounds like fun. Nutrient block. All right, totally, totally not helpful right now. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right. Getting in. Really just don't have a lot of air down here. I really want to get that modification station so we can get a better uh, better air canisters, you know? Water. I guess oil's leaking out of here. Man, we need to go in a second here. I'm, I'm pushing my luck. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, and there's another door there. Okay, so where's this door? Right here. Okay, perfect. All right, we found the other door in. We will definitely use that next time. Imagine dying from dehydration in the middle of the ocean. Oh my goodness, that would just be awful. Water everywhere, and it's all just bad for you to drink. Like, it's literally not, not something you can have. Give me a quick second. Go grab my tea. Now it's ready. Yeah, no worries. We got water on hand. We picked up a bunch over here. There we go. Quick minute to calm down. Yeah, it's mineral rich, right? Oh, wrong button. I wanted this button. Drink and drink and eat. Perfect. That's all stuff we found here, so... We still have all of our personal rations. It's good. We've already checked those. Yeah, we did. Sir? <laughs> I start scanning him and he freaks out. Whoops, daisies. Sorry about that, Chucky. I mean, we already started. We might as well finish, right? There you go. Sand shark. Okay. <laughs> He's like minding his own business, face into the wall, you know, having having a grand old time, and I'm just like, I'm gonna start scanning. It's like, no, I get, I did not give you permission for a selfie. Okay, more water. Good. <laughs> more batteries. Okay. Nope. More water. Good. Really freaking bright. Holy moly. Okay. Ooh, a grappling arm fragment. <gasps> okay. One of two. Can we get a second one? A power cell charging fragment. Okay. Cool. Not getting full sets here, but we're getting parts and pieces. All right, we have to turn back in a second here. We're going to finish searching this room real quick. And that's a full search. Up to daisies. Back we there's that thing again. Mmm. Even before you don't have a prawn suit itself. Yeah, we can we don't have a prawn suit yet. But we have all the materials we need back at home to make one. So we can make one whenever we need to. And we'll probably do that afterwards. Oh, it's getting dark again. Can we finish up this exploration before it gets too dark, please? I don't like it when it gets this dark down here. Uh, 
Uh, there's the entrance in. <laughs> like, turn myself around there. Okay. Nothing scannable in here. Can we go down here? Oh, we can. Cool, we fit. More water. Doesn't hurt to have. Nothing to scan. Is there nothing to scan down here? Lame. Oh, nope. A power uh, power cell charger fragment. Excellent. Nab this. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so we need to go and get the other grappling arm thing. Uh-oh, how did we get in here? Ladder. That's right. Ladder, ladder, ladder. It's like, get stuck and drown inside this thing. Oh, that repair guy is almost out of power. We're going to need to make a new battery for him. Yep, it's dark. Let's head back here. Uh, too much prawn suit without Cyclops is a bit meh. It's slow and cumbersome to get around in. Ah, okay. We still don't have the Cyclops either. I think that's everything out of this wreck. We should probably give it another once more over, but I feel pretty confident. Or anything over... I know this is where the purple guy was. Uh, let me just keep smacking into the ground while I keep hovering. There's a lot of quartz down here. That's good. Alright, so let's hop back over here. Alright, so we, we, got, we got some more blueprints for more things to work on. Let's go grab this quartz while we're here, because goodness gracious knows we're always low on quartz. Good. Okay, good. Um. Oh! Got in just in time on that one. He almost nabbed me in the foot. Oof. Okay, let's just go and hunker back down here and figure out a new plan. Uh, so we went and checked out this. So we can go back to... So we can go over to... Life pod 12 now, because we've gone over here and checked out the area I wanted to. Um, so we can jump back to the other side of the area. Drop off stuff at base, refuel and the like on the way. Um, get this thing back up to full charge instead of 75, repair it back up to full. I think we'll do that. I like bouncing back and forth because it lets us go run by base real quick and uh, drop stuff off and restock and be in a nice safe zone for a little minute for me to just, you know... Take a deep breath. Um, but that wasn't too bad. That purple guy does make me really nervous, though. But um, other than the, the purple kraken, we're okay. But yeah, we have to go find the other Cyclops fragments. I don't know where they are. We found a few here and there. We actually found a few in here. In this biome, but there's there's not a lot in here. At least that I was able to find. Doesn't seem to be like super abundant, you know. What is that? There's like a purple flash. You guys saw that, right? What? Oh, I thought it was a spike ball. It looks like it's it's uh, more fragments and shrapnel and stuff. Yeah, it's another one. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Do we see a way in? Another piece of the aurora. Is there a way in here? Ah, there's a way in. Oh, caught on its legs. Alright, anything in here for us to nab? Not in there, okay. Nope, alright. <laughs> so far, not much. Oh, here's the thing. 
A power cell charger fragment. There we go. Got more of those. Okay, good. Back over this one. Just getting some more free titanium. Nothing wrong with that. that looks like we can't open that door. And that electric stuff is just so ridiculously bright. Got nothing down here. Okay. Nothing out. There's got to be more than just this in here, right? Just one fragment. There's no way there's only one fragment in this thing. That'd be ridiculous. I mean, I guess you get benches and whatnot, but... There's got to be another way in. Right? There's got to be another way in. Um, find them all and put your own Aurora back together. I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, drag these all back to back together, put a piece them all up. I have a feeling it's not a uh, one crew... Uh, you can't really operate it with just one crew member, though. I'm wondering if there's, like, an additional hatch to get in. Oh, hello. Where do you go? A plant shelf! <laughs> well, hell. Don't mind if I do. Another power cell charger. Ah, oh, there's another door here. Okay. Oh, a picture frame. Nice. Take that. Man, it's so serious when you find things. Shwom. Must be an interior grow thing. Okay. Then we'll go and start working on this. So if there's power cell chargers, there's got to be a battery battery recharger, right? We, we shouldn't just have, like, a ridiculous number of empty batteries slowly stacking up on us. That doesn't make sense. So that's got to be in a different wreck we haven't found yet. A light stick fragment. Oh, a Psycho's Souls fragment. Here we go. Bam. Found it. Bam. All right. All done. Seal door. We've already cut that. Bridge fragment. All right, we have to go out. We can't stay in here. We gotta go out. Ah, it's daytime again. I like it when it's daytime. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. No worries. Now he man just throws. I know, right? We just we just chuck him out. Yeah, no, you, we can't reuse batteries. They're one-time uses. There's a cliff over there. Huh. It's not where the mountain is. We'll have to check out those cliffs next. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> We're gonna go back to base. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh, wait, hold on a second. There's another entrance here. Hello. What are you? Man, we're getting a lot of Cyclops stuff, and I don't have one. <laughs> PDA. Scanner room voice lock. Ah, cool. We'll listen to that in a second. Ah, okay. This is the room we, we came in. Alright, cool. Good. So we found that. Anything in here? Do you have a thing for me? No? Nothing to scan? No? Just an empty room? Oh, wait. Oh, bridge fragment. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. We need one more bridge frag... Propulsion gun fragment. We already got one. Yeah. That didn't work. Is there one more bridge fragment in here? That'd be really nice. No. Nope. need another bridge fragment. Just one more. Hmm... Door goes there, that one's there, we already opened that. Hmm, okay, looks like that might be it then. 
Looks like we grabbed everything out of this. Okay. Alright, so if we nabbed everything out of here, I kind of want to check out these cliffs. What are these cliffs here? You're new. I'm not threatened by this guy, I don't think. Oh, jeez. As I hit a wall and freak myself out. Gosh darn it, you. I'm more afraid of hitting the terrain and scaring myself than I am of the actual creatures. For goodness sakes. It's an interesting area. No debris down here. This would be a great place to throw some, though. Man, those guys are like armadillo sharks. Alright, what's down here? Hmm. Okay. It's like that big floating island. They're like tiny little floating islands. Okay. That's not too bad, because we're staying up high. I'm okay with this. There was reef backs around. Ah, okay, so we're fine. As I just bump into creatures now. Goodness gracious, what is wrong with me? We have a full inventory, though. Okay, uh, well, we found another we found another wreck site, and that looks like part of the engine, because I've seen one of those engine pieces before. There's another one of more engine pieces. Where's home from here? Uh, there it is. South. Okay, so we're going to go back, and then we'll come straight dead north. We're going to go back, and then we'll come straight dead north. Ooh, geez, and a lot of down, it looks like, because it's below a cliff. Uh, but yeah, we'll go there, and then we'll go straight north. Hi. Man, there's a lot of these little guys here. Crazy. And then we'll uh, we'll pick up... We'll do another run. We'll do another run. we got to drop some stuff off. It's not too far, actually. It's only 600 meters. It's like, when you think about the distance, 600 meters, it's not too far when you're in a, like a boat that goes this fast. Actually, when you're thinking about this, we're going like... We should time this. They're going like 10 meters a second. Ish. We're going real fast. Holy moly. Okay. All right, right back to home sweet home. I like how the color changes to blue when you're back in the in this reef area. Nice. Right, let's charge this thing back up, too, because we're down to 64%, and it's badly damaged. <laughs> we should probably repair it, too. With a repair tool that's almost out of power, we're going to need to get a new, uh, new battery in here. All right. Dock him. We should probably think about putting on the... Um, the upgrades for... Drill arm, diamond, lithium, titanium, we can do that, cool. Um, storage. We should we should think about the storage modules, you know? It's just it's just so we can actually carry more stuff here, right? Charging at seventy percent. Okay, cool. Let it keep charging. Uh, you're the single reason the ecosystem is in danger in this place? It's true. All them batteries. I know, we're just dropping so many batteries right now. Right, we need to drop off more uh, titanium. So put them in the titanium closet. There we go. Bammo. Let's get this quartz over here, because quartz is important. Let's go ahead and put the copper over here, because copper is important. Water and food for the rest of it. So we'll just go ahead and consume, consume, consume. Good. Uh, it's our eggs chest. Nice. Let's go and drop these off. Hey, Mel Love. How's it going? 
We're we're currently braving the deeper and darker parts of the world. I'm not super happy about it. But look at all of our cool pictures and posters. Look at this. We got posters. Oh, I'm so happy with all the posters. It's great. Yeah, it's only it's like we've got plenty. So we, like we've got three more uh, slots on the on the sea moth. So I think we're just going to fill them all out with these, and then we get an extra one for this. Go here. And we'll go here. And we'll go hey. We want one of these, and we'll put this like. Uh, we'll put this over, like, where's the module? The upgrade modules, I think, are on this corner, right? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and we'll just slam this bad boy right here. And this will be for modules. So we'll put spare modules in there when we start taking them out. But I think we're just going to get, like, three of the... Unless you can only get one in here. We'll put one in and see what happens. We'll put more in if we can. You can only put one storage module per potable, sadly. Oh. You sure? We could let, let's just make another one. I mean, otherwise we'll just put it in the um, the prawn suit when we make one. Besides, lithium's not that hard to come by. We can we can find lithium pretty easy. Quartz is the thing we're just dying for all the time. Oh right, yeah, we can get more in here. Does it increase its storage capacity? Look, storage unit. Here you go. Okay, so it's a four by four. Oh, hey, look. This is the second one. Okay. That's also 4 by 5 Oh, yes. All right. Perfect. We're doing a third one. What? Oh, I didn't take enough titanium. I thought it was two per. Whoops, the daisies. They added a few more? Nice. I like this. So we're going to take them out of here. Oh, and by out of here, I mean out of here. I thought it was two, not three. Whoops, the daisies. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to slam those on there until we actually like need other things. We might as well just have them, right? It's not a bad module to have on hand. I mean, the engine efficiency module, the whole module, good. I think the main one we're going to want eventually is, like, the uh, torpedo one and the sonar, but we don't have magnetite yet. So until we get magnetite, we might as well just have storage, right? Because that's been our biggest problem. We've had to come back because storage issues. Bam. Where's the, where's the third one go? Oh, right here. Perfect. So one, two, and three. Nice. You only really need depth module on top. Okay. Yeah, that one we have to upgrade. We have to go find that upgrade thing. Um, we could probably leave this fire extinguisher behind. Because we're doing stuff underwater now that we're not doing stuff with the Aurora. And we're going to want some batteries with us. So let's take... Two charged batteries with us. Um... Stairs. Hmm. If we sleep, does it take it to night or at the beginning of day? <laughs> That's my question. If it's the beginning of day, perfect. Beginning of night, sad. Ooh. Oh, we can't sleep again. Uh oh. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go get the reactor back online because it's clearly offline as we're seeing our power drop here. No, you're active. You're still running. <laughs> I haven't changed you out this entire stream. Okay. All right. Well, it's fine. During the daytime, the solar will kick back on. This guy must draw a lot of power then. Um, I think we're pretty good. We don't need any tools out of here. No, we're fine. Uh, the water filtration draws a lot of power. Okay, <laughs> that, that that explains it. Um, all right, so we've done this. Seamoth. So, vortex torpedoes required magnetite. Ow! Oh, this magnetite, man. Like, I don't know where to get it. All right, we're gonna go head back. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go back over there. Uh, this is going to be for modules. 
module. Uh, so if we have, you know, when we when we have like spares, we'll use that. But for now, we're going to bring a bunch of extra storage on our big bad boy here, and we're going to go straight north. Straight north, everyone. Up, up, and away. But yeah, so we've... Oh, real quick here. Blueprints. Um, nothing new, nothing new, nothing new, nothing new. Light stick. Really? We needed a second one? We might have missed that light stick. <laughs> might have missed our chance for it. Cyclops depth 2 requires nickel. Or is... Depth 3 requires kyanite? No idea what that is. <laughs> okay. Um, but these require a modification station, which we still don't have. Grappling arm, we didn't get. Uh, drill arm, we can make that. Got the hull. We need one more bridge, one more engine. And we saw the engine fragments over there, so we might actually get these two at this place we're going to now. Shield generator. Creates a temporary barrier uh, around the sub, rendering it invulnerable for a brief time. That sounds insane. Uh, a plant shelf. Probably should have made some of those. Whereas ruby, titan, uh, titanium. Okay. We really need to get this thing. Oh, there is a battery charger. I knew it. I knew there was battery chargers. I knew it. There had to be one. There's a picture frame. We gotta go find this battery charger. Hopefully it's over here. Hopefully it's over here with the rest of the stuff we're gonna go and try and pick up. But at the very least, we'll get the Cyclops engine done. I saw a handful of those fragments. Oh yeah, look, you can see down below. Uh, the, the modules we got three uh, capacity modules and for storing stuff and one for depth. Nice. Again, once we end up getting magnetite, which apparently the moment we find it, we have to empty our inventory of literally everything and pick up all the magnetite we can possibly ever think of finding. Because, geez, we need a lot. Okay, so we go down here and we find them, right? Oh, I really don't like going into the void. Okay, there it is. We found it. Poof. There it is. Okay, good, good. It's pretty abundant. <laughs> um, all right. I just need to find out where it is then. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, because that looks like an engine piece right there. Oh, and I think that's a bridge piece right there. Perfect. That's enough. Please don't. Ah, that's not what I need. Uh, what are you? Creature decoy. That sounds useful. Earthen coral tubes. Sure, we'll research it while we're here. Why not? Is there anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Whoop. Yep, there's the engine. Alright, engine done. Oh. I'll get this red wart real quick while we're here. Right, I think this is the bridge, right? Nope, <laughs> engine. Dang it. We're going to start picking up a lot of titanium. But again, remember, we're allowed to now. Ooh, diamond. We're allowed to because we can we can carry an extra 16, 32, 48. Oh, look at this. A lot of crabs in here. Pick up this ruby. Or I'll research this ruby first, I guess. Pick that up. Don't jump on me, you. <laughs> Don't you, don't you do it. Oh, this is this is coral shell. Huh, okay. Yeah, we'll research this while we're here. Might as well, why not? So we don't get these prompts anymore. Okay. Back up we go. More engine. I mean, again, I'll take all the titanium, because we're going to need to start making titanium um, ingots, which takes 10. And I don't want to have to farm this stuff if we can help it. Okay, back in for air. Alright, so that seems like that's pretty much everything here. So next we're going to go in there, and then there's another platform down below for us to jump to. Alright. There we go.
an entryway in here, or... Oh! Stasis rifle. We already have it. Dang it. I thought it was a thing that we could use that was going to be new and different and whatnot, but nope. Okay. Erosion patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Oh, that would make sense since... What are you? Uh, it's a bone shark! Bone and shark. Okay. Oh man, you can't strafe either. Good job. <laughs> Alright, good. Uh, we'll pick that up. Put that in here. Um, so, that makes sense because all this heavy stuff landed on it and probably pushed it. Ooh, jeez. Pushed it onto the ground. Or underwater. Ooh, quartz. Nice. Good, good. Take that. Makes sense. Ooh, had some authentic on. Italian pizza? Oh, I'm jealous. I want some. Then works for two pizzas and one slice. I mean, depending on the quality of the pizza, that's actually pretty good pricing. Oh, it's 44 USD? Pfft. Oh my goodness, yeah. No, totally worth it. Uh, I don't know where my Seamoth is, so I'm just going to go straight up. Seconds. That's over here. That's faster. It's like the same depth as going up. Same distance. <laughs> so we'll go over here instead. Oh, I missed... How did I miss that? I missed a box. Let's hop in here real quick. It's 15 degrees C out here. It's actually cold out here. Our base is over where it's like 28 C. Nice and warm. A little too warm in some regards. Uh, nutrient block, I'll take it. A bunch of salt here too. Sure, why not? Salt... I mean, we're, we might as well resource scavenge while we're out here, right? Hey, Derpus. Welcome. How are you doing? Hey. And welcome to the chat as well. How, auth how authentic was it? It's an Italian place of Italian work. It sounds pretty authentic to me. Don't you dare even think about it, Buster. Don't you nit me. I'm going to be so grumpy if you do. <laughs> um... Is there an entry point in here, too, because it's the same build piece? No. How do we get in this thing? Oh, come on now. There's got to be a way in. All right, let's grab the sea moth and let's go search around. Oh, come on now. Subnautica veteran here. You're willing to have some fun? I mean... So far, we haven't really run into anything too scary, other than me freaking myself out, mostly, it seems. Can we get in this vent? Nope. Yeah, it's mostly me hitting things. Ah, it's crumpled. There's no vent there. But no spoilers, please. Oh, uh, the biggest creature we faced... I saw there's, there's this purple thing with, like... Like, it's like a mantis purple mantis thing. I kept my distance, but that thing, I think, is the scariest thing I've run into so far. And then there's, like, these sharks, but I've learned that you can just... So the difference is, and the reason why I'm less afraid of these guys than I am of that purple thing, is these guys don't seem to be able to turn on a dime. And that purple thing, I'm assuming can. I'm assuming it can. It just looks like it's biologically designed to be able to turn on a frickin' dime. But we've kind of kept ourselves to the wall, you know? I like to... I don't like depths, all right? I'm like, oh, well, look at this. We're out of space. Whatever shall we do, guys? Yes. Oh, my goodness. This storage stuff's amazing. Give me this titanium. Here you go. And don't worry. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, there are times in which I'm like, really tense though but it hasn't been too bad my my gamer skills of being able to kite and strafe has made it so i, I really don't care about these guys like <laughs> i'm fine with swimming with them i just it doesn't matter so long as i'm not stuck in like a really tight corridor with them i don't mind right, let's get some more air and look for another way in because that's not a way in 
Uh, you will care about things later on. Yeah, I have that. I have that sneaking suspicion that eventually I'm going to like. There's going to be scarier things, and that purple thing I think is the scary is going to be like an absolute nightmare for me. Because it like there's like a ripple of like water and whatnot around it as it floats around, which is really weird. And one time it just flat out disappeared. Is there no way in this thing? Am I just Am I crazy? There's got to be a way in, right? It's a big honking thing of metal. I mean, all of the doors seem blocked. Ah. Uh, found it. Farts. Hi, Sleepy Gamer. Welcome. <laughs> uh, my hand's not even on the door. <laughs> Amazing. Anything good in here? Maybe? No? No? Not at all? Worth this place? Oh! A propulsion arm fragment? Hello! Man, it really seems like this, um, this prawn is really gonna be important later on. There's a lot of parts for it. Swim charge fins. Sounds useful. Uh, as soon as we actually get a modification station. I'm assuming it modifies my fins. Like the super speedy fins. Or a game changer? <laughs> they're, they're a game changer? Okay. Good to know. In theory, you can finish the game without using the prawn suit. Okay. It is very hardy, though. Oh my goodness, I ran out of power. Guys, we've, we have so many batteries back at home, it's actually terrifying how many batteries we have. Ooh! Thank you. Very helpful. Fire suppression. That sounds useful. Oh, there we go. I should go get some air. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> I should go get some air. Uh, there's the door. And there's the sea moth. Yeah, we need a little bit of O2. Oh my goodness, no one... We, oh, wow. We got no one in chat. That's, uh... It, oh my goodness, this thing. Got no one in chat that can, uh... That can spam it. That was happening earlier today. Uh, when we were... Hello. When we were doing... Sorry, I'm, I'm busy. When we were doing stuff, people were spamming this, uh... This at me. I, I love that that emote was not for this game. Oh my goodness, we have 33% health on this thing? As I continue to bash into stuff. Good. Let's go hide in this corner over here. No, leave me alone. No. Don't break on me. Don't break on me. Don't break on me. Don't you break on me. This is why we brought two extra batteries. <laughs> Don't break on me. Jeez, yeah, they hit way harder. Oh, I don't want to open this. That's going to be the hard part, though. There's a lot of capsules on our... A lot of, like, doors and whatnot on the Seamoth now. We're going to be opening up things by accident all the time now. Don't hit this thing, all right? It's fragile. A fragile piece of equipment, all right? Listen. We need to go check out this stuff in here. That let me through. Okay. Good done, good done. Ah, power cell charger. Darn it, where's the battery charger? I want battery chargers. You would recommend saving? Ah, uh, I haven't saved in a long time. I haven't saved since the beginning of this stream. <laughs> um, should I be saving, like, super often? Is that a thing? Yeah, I haven't run into any problems yet. This is rifle fragment. No save run. Nah, no save run sounds a little ridiculous. Hey, how's it going? I just die. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Um, five. We we can save. We're in a nicer place. You're playing a game about an end of the steps to the ocean. You think you should save often? I mean, you make a good point, and I'm not. I I can't really argue that point. 
but I just forget that saving's a thing. Anything of use in here? There's a door. I don't want to do that. The door opening animation takes way too long. It probably goes back outside, I would imagine, but we'll we'll give it a we'll give it a test in a second here. Let's go get some more air first. You're fine, you're too fine. Oh my god. Oh you devil you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Thalassophobia? I don't even know what that is. What is what is that? What what phobia is that? Like what 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 is what Derpus. Enlighten me, please. Oh, no, there's more stuff back here. Okay, what do we have here? It feels like nothing. Okay. Still grass in here. Crazy. Okay. The fear of deep, fear of deep water. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Arcana. I I didn't need to know what that fear was. My inventory's full. Ah, boo. I'll open this door and then we'll, we'll swim out. Or more specifically, the things that might be in the deep water. Okay, that's that's more specifically what I fear. Okay, cool. Great. Now now I, now I get to know what it's called. Great. <laughs> And knowing is half the battle, right? I, I do not like... It's like, the thing is, I'm fine with being in pitch blackness. I've got no problems in the dark. In the dark, spooky dead, like, I don't, it's fine. Totally fine. No problems. But in the water? There's some scary stuff in the water, man. Was it over here? Oh, man, I don't remember where that door was. <laughs> was it over here? There it was. go. Med kits. And pretty much nothing else in here. Alright, let's go drop off a load. Back over to Ooh, we're almost out of power here. That's not good. Alright, so I don't think we've done this one. Whoops, Daisy. <laughs> Didn't mean to go in, but okay. Uh, ultimately, fear of the dark and fear of the ocean are the same. This is the fear of what could be the... I don't know. I think, like... I don't know. Like... This one's full, right? No, this one's not full. Okay. I mean, again, like, there, there's nothing in the dark on dry land that I'm worried about. You know? Like, I've... Whatever. You know? No no worries. But in the water, totally different. I think it's because it's a 360 degree thing. Like, I was talking about that earlier. As a human, I don't look up. So, like, this is the thing. Like, as I'm, when I'm hanging out here, I feel so safe right here. But there's all this space, 184 meters above me, of stuff. Like, right? Stuff could be there, right? And yet, I'm like, I feel totally safe here. I feel, I, I feel fine. So long as there's something underneath me. That's all I care about. That's, that's literally it. So I don't, I don't know. Out of my way. Oh, there's caverns in this one. It's a tall one. What's in here? Eggs. Eggs. Any useful materials in this thing? Just go up and see what it's got. Ah, we got water, don't worry. Hitting fish on the way up. Doing our due diligence. Oh, wow. Kelp. Okay. Bam. Oh, we're by the island. Yeah, okay. Bears? I'm not too afraid of bears, but, like, you know, if they get close to me, I don't want to be near a bear. You know, like, <laughs> you don't know what's going to set them off, right? That's kind of terrifying. Um... That's why small things are hidden things like spiders and snakes are scary. Yeah, we we have a species have figured out that's not the thing we want to deal with. I think overall people are more afraid of spiders than bears. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I'd agree with that. I think most more people are afraid of spiders than bears. Absolutely. 
I mean, even though you still can't outrun a bear, <laughs> you know. Vital signs stabilizing. Get a block. Things like that. Okay, let's head back down. Well, while we're here, at least, we can... Is there any more inventory you want to put in the storage unit here? Got two empty batteries, and heck, might as well chuck them in there. All right, let's go check into the. Let's go check out these caves real quick here. Might be something nice in these caves. Let's check this out. Never know what you might find. Uh, you might find nothing, actually. <laughs> you might you might find it just loops around and doesn't do anything special. Cool. All right, well, there you go. Back to our Seamoth. There we go. It's only because spiders are more likely to be in the corner of your... It's true, though, right? Like, they just they love the corner of your room, and they watch you while you sleep. And when you wake up, they've gone somewhere. Where? You don't know. All right? Some gold... Creature egg. Ooh, what's this? Another propulsion. It's fine. Pick it up for the titanium. Because again, <laughs> titanium, we're always going to use it. We're going to need a lot of it. One way or another, it's just what it is. Um, animals to the animals we know. Yeah, it's true. We tend to do that a lot. These spiders are weird, man. How's it going, Jelly Bean Dragon? Welcome. Spiders are weird. I think the main, like, on top of that, they've got, like, a, a ridiculous number of legs. But not, like, so much it's comical, like the millipede or centipede. Right? It's not, like, a comical amount of legs. It's just too many legs. You know? Like crabs. But since we eat crabs, like... There's, like, I feel it's one of those things. Like, you can't be afraid of things you eat. Right? Right? That kind of makes sense, right? See if there's anything else down here. Again, so long as these shelves are underneath me and I can see them. Okay, too far. <laughs> Not paying attention. What's this, though? Another propulsion. Boo. Not paying attention to how deep I'm going. Uh, this thing is not doing well right now. We are leaking water and sparking pretty badly. Let's head home. Let's head home, let's drop off stuff, and let's, uh, I guess, go over to Light Pod 12. Because we've, I think we've grabbed everything over here we can. Ooh, this guy's infected. Boink. We need to stop boinking things, that's not good. No! Don't hit this! Don't do it! You're absolute monsters, go away. Don't break my boat. I'm just, like, all three of them are following me. Okay. Well, I mean, come over here and hang out with all these stalkers, I guess. Sure, do what you want. Uh, to be honest... Wait, centipedes are probably scary? Really? It's highly aggressive and it'll bite you, given the chance? I mean, kinda. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, RDK. Come on, man! <laughs> Uh, are you sure this game will help you explore some of the deeper fears? I mean, it, it's not like something I ever have to really experience. I'm never really out on open water, you know? I, like, I don't really have the... I don't really run into that. Whoop. Home, sweet home. Here we are. Alright. Let's go and empty this bad boy out as much as we can. Perfect, and you. Hopefully we can empty you all the way out. Oh, perfect, so that means we, only, we don't have to come back around. Uh, anything to put in here? No. Anything to put in here? Yep, you, you, and you. Oh, not you. Go back here, you. You, okay. Anything to put in here? Yep. <laughs> Bunch of titanium. Perfecto, and then in here. We've got titanium. Nope, give me that silver back. And then in the metals chest, put our titanium. Uh, put the copper and whatnot in here. Perfect. Let's pull out of the storage. 
the quartz salt and titanium we have remaining. Ah, what a run, guys. <laughs> that's good good run for materials, that's for sure. Our titanium one's full. We're getting pretty close to filling up on this, too. Actually, not as much lead as other things. And psh, empty batteries. <laughs> Dump them in here. Uh, we'll grab another two full batteries. Because we got a whole bunch from that ship. Uh, from the Aurora when we were floating around there. <sighs> Alright, so what's what's our plan now, guys? What's our plan? What's our plan? What are we thinking? I'm thinking water. And more salt. Oh, more salt. Yes. Always a fan of more salt. So that means we can set up our food. Be good to go. Alright, so we got a lot of water. We got a healing thing. We got a bunch of food. We got two spare batteries. We got all of the devices we could possibly need to do anything, including our emergency air bladder. Um, just in case this guy runs out of batteries and <laughs> we need to we need to go up. Um, so that's good. Um, blueprints. Huh. Upmarket pot containing synthetic soil. Oh, as opposed to a compost one. Okay. We gotta figure out where the modification station is, guys. Like that's that's a big one. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for bridge fragments. Fire suppression. Uh, can't do that. Got the engine. We need to find one more bridge fragment. Uh, grapple. We got the propulsion. More magnetite. <laughs> magnetite doesn't exist. It's not a real thing. Wirelessly charges your handheld tool while you swim. Okay. Actually, that could be really good. No light stick, because we still need that. And that's it. Okay. All right. Take a look at our farm real quick here. Let's go set this up. All our inventory is nice and empty. Oh, don't you dare even think about it, big guy. Get out of here. Go away, you. I will, I will eat you. All right? I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to eat you. Goodness gracious, man. Okay. There we go. No, I said go away. Get out of the neighborhood. You've been evicted. Go away. <laughs> Get out of here. All right. Okay. Good. So that's now up and running, so we get so we can make more batteries when we need more batteries. Um, I feel like there was a log we skipped. Geographical data on Ruby. Uh, essential for advanced fabrication. Okay, good. Um, ah, clues. Origin of Life Pod Seven. We we got a thing for Life Pod Seven. Distress call is received from Life Pod Seven. Um. But the attach oh that's right the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded to analyze. Uh, crew reported problems with their onboard fabricator sunk 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Transmitted uh, transmission origin approximately 1,000 or one kilometer southwest of Aurora's stern. Hmm. Yeah, we might we might have to eat him. We might just have to eat him to teach him a lesson. Alright, so we'll let's go try and find Life Pod 7. It's behind the Aurora. So we can go and find that one, or we can find Life Pod 12. Uh, scanner room voice log. The way I see it, no one's to blame here. He gave me the wrong coordinates. She didn't give me clear instruction. Okay, <laughs> I'll rephrase. You've been equally incompetent. Now, Ooh. we've lost time, but we're closer to the planet. So if the Garcia's out there, the scan should pick it up. Why are we even helping the Mongolians? They're the competition. Enjoy your shore leave on Sanjay Station. Like having fuel in the tanks? Thank the Mongolians. We run the scans, we show them we didn't find anything, and we say thanks for the free dinner. Clear? Sir, there's something odd on the surface scan here. Turn that recorder off. Ooh. That must have been when, uh, when things started to go sideways real quick. Let's go eat ourselves a, a potato or something. Let's go ahead and put one potato back so it can regrow. Eat the other potato. And have a drink of water. Bam. All right. How's it going, dude? Welcome back. How are you doing? 
Yeah, I haven't seen you for a bit. That's okay. As always, never forget, life always comes first. You know, if you got stuff you gotta do in life, get that done first. We're probably gonna want a second one of these if we're gonna have a prawn suit. I, we might be able to... I wonder if it docks the same way. I assume it does. Because it looks like these two are technically, like, interchangeable. You know? Let's get on in. Boop! There we go. Alright. So, we've emptied everything out except our inventory, which is fine. Um, so do we want to go for 12, or trying to land on a, uh, on an alien anti-space cannon? I know, right? This, yeah, they didn't, they didn't turn out so well, did it? They didn't, they didn't what we would like to call make it. Are you just leaving your sea moth hanging out there on, uh, on the side? Yeah, no, it's, it literally just hangs. Look at that, just, just chills out, hanging out over. It's been, um, it's more like lazy workers on your team keeping you working far, Oh, That's lame. That is not the teamwork that makes the dream work. That is definitely not. So if I do that and click off, does it disappear? No, okay, where? Okay, data banks, power vehicles, vehicles, the Neptune escape rocket. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take a lot of stuff to get that done. A prawn suit, only insulated from outside, hydraulic limbs, rear mounted thrusters, provide mobility in low gravity environments. Cool. Um, what is it? So this is Degazi. Nope, not the one we want. This is Life Pod 12. All right, we can go to 12 because we actually have a marker for it. Nope. Oh, okay, hang on a second. All right, guys, we got a choice to make here. Because either way, we're going towards the Aurora. Do we want to... All right, guys, we got, a, we got an option here. We got a decision we got to make here. Do we want to go towards the bow of the Aurora or the stern? Which one do we want to go to? Is there a is there a preference? Because we need to go to both. Seven is behind the Aurora, and twelve seems to be in front of. Both sides are spooky. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, let's do let's do seven because it's closer to us. And I've got a good feeling about finding something in the middle of the darkness. Also, what time of day is it? Please tell me it's not dusk. If it's dusk, we're turning back around. <laughs> Maybe we should get, like, the torpedo launchers, right? And get, like, the gas torpedoes. Just go there at night. Uh, that really feels like a bad idea. I'm confident I can find it in the darkness, but I don't want to find it in the darkness, you know? Alright, so about a hundred, like, a thousand meters south. Or, yeah, southish. So I feel like it's right here. Before we go much deeper, where's that picture? Data logs, clues, seven, jagged teeth area. So it's got to be like where it was furrowing through, right? Subnautica at night is best of Nautica. So much glowing stuff. Oh, save. Oh, yeah, good, good call. Good call. We should probably do that. Right. I haven't saved in a while, as in in four hours. <laughs> so we can save. Makes sense. All right, I want to do a quick save here. We haven't done a lot back behind here, actually. There might be stuff to scan. I wonder. Because we haven't really played in this biome much. At least I don't think we have. The soothing sounds of uh, reef backs behind us. down here. Eggs. Going guys, more eggs. Bunch of, bunch of materials we can just pick up real quick. It is very creepy music, though, I gotta say. Jeez. Alright, that's better. Thanks, music. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
Ah, uh, why not? Let's take a look in here real quick. We we can we can scout out in here real quick, right? There's more quartz down here. Oh my goodness, there's so much quartz I have to pick some up. <laughs> there's too much quartz in here for me to just not pick up. Good. Eggs. Uh, tripped on a cable Thursday morning. Landed on your hands. Oh, let me get in real quick. Uh, it was out of your head. Good call. Uh, put it in a... Our... The old job site. Oh, man. Um, then had a purple drumstick of a thumb. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Ouch. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I know. You gotta be careful, man. Uh, it's hard not dying on a regular basis. It really is. You have to fight. Like, nature tries to kill you all the time. Right? You're just minding your own business, and nature's trying to just get rid of you, man. The fact that we live every single day, the fact that we make it every single day, is a true testament to our personal skill. What are these little water things? These little, like... What is you? A rock grub. Ow! What bit me? Don't do that. Fighting is rude. Good. Oh, nice. We're just picking up all this quartz right now. We're just not going to have to deal with quartz in the future. It's going to be great. At least we're not going to deal with it as badly as we have in the past. Ah, missed this one. Good. It's a nice spot right here. Good, good. Alright. Yeah, it's true. We are the epitome of the top of evolution. It is true. Aaron knows you look up and down before crossing the road. It's true, yeah. No, you're absolutely right. You gotta look up and down before then. Top of the food chain. We see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We, we, the top top of the food chain chokes when drinking water. What? <laughs> so this is not quite the area we're looking for. I think it's down here. Don't know how deep we need to go. We're looking for jagged. Yeah, this is jagged stuff here. This is where we're supposed to be. All right, I'm just going to stay real close to the ground. I'm not going to look up, and I'm going to feel super safe and happy down here. Except that it's terrifyingly dark all of a sudden. Come on. That's a bone shark noise. I don't want to have the lights on. I like, I'm afraid to have lights on. I don't want lights on. Guys, I don't, I'm not happy. I am not happy down here. Oh, guys. I don't want to go that way. Oh, I'm not happy down here. I feel like they attract things. I feel safe in the darkness. All right, we're gonna pop back out for a second here. I need to do. I need to. I need to orient myself. All right, we're going to these reef backs. If they're reef backs, there can't be anything big and scary. Let's be honest, right? There can't be anything that's big and scary if these big, slow, lumbering. You know, sleepy boys are hanging out, right? Unless they have some sort of defensive mechanism I'm not aware of yet. Pfft, rocks. My my greatest enemy. That's ah, because it turned to night! Monster game. Game, why would you do this to me? Alright, so let's, let's orient ourselves here. So 1,000 meters south of Stern. I want to make sure we can actually get there. So we are at Stern right now. Okay. So we're at Stern. Oh, I can't... Oh, for goodness sakes. Alright, I'm going to stand out. Alright. Let me, let me, let me look. Alright, so for Stern here, Stern's here. My guess is it's right about there. Oh, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> I know this is going to be... Actually... That's a lot of quartz. Holy moly. Jeez, <laughs> we got 16 quartz. Oh, so good. Love the reef packs. Yeah. All right, the sun's rising. Okay. 
We've got a reef back in the distance in the same direction we're going. I want to go there. This, this is the angle I want to go. I have a feeling this angle of approach is going to get me close to the target. I feel confident about that. He's there, scared. Wait, he's there. Watch your back. The creepy ghost purple thing's gonna come out of nowhere, sink its teeth into the front of the ship, and wriggle you around. Right? Like, pull off the front. Because it's got, like, tentacles and whatnot, which is scary. Alright, so that's def this is definitely the region, and I think it's gonna be there. Okay, so this region is just dark. Come on, developers. Why? Alright, so we'll go this way. I'm confident. I feel confident over here. Get out of my way. Nope. I think I went into the wrong biome. Oh. Quick. Hello? Leave me alone. Quick detour, guys. We found something super important. Stuff. Hang on, guys. Quick detour. Uh, no, I don't think it's randomly generated. It might be. Are parts of Subnautica randomly generated? Does anyone know? Or is all the exact same all the time? Like, are life pod locations always the same? Is the terrain always the same? Does anyone know? Drill arm. Take that. Scanner room for Scanner room fragment? Jeez, we found that ages ago. Put those quartz here. Yeah, thanks for the creepy music. Yeah, grumpy, grumpy. It's not randomly generated. Life pods and terrain are always the same. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, because, you know, the story locations would be obvious to be the, if they're the same. It does make sense. The map is hand-designed. That's pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. Oh! What did we find? Oh, something we found before. <laughs> okay. Well, it's kind of nice to know that you don't have to find it in the one... Like, the sole one place that is... It's the only place you'll ever find it. And if you don't find it in that one tiny place, you're never going to get it. That's nice. Looks like another scanner room fragment. Yeah. We're just going to pick this up for titanium. Like, I, I'm fine. We might as well. A membrane tree. That's gross. It's like a tree in a sack. <laughs> okay. What are you? Scanner room. Ports. Nothing in cargo. Okay. Finish scanning these out and getting our titanium. We'll get some air in a second here. Not more scanner room. Ah, inventory full. Dang it. Pick up that ruby in a second here. Alright, there we go. All right, all right, okay, guys. All right, deep breaths, all right? Hang tight. I think we already filled this one up. Nope, no, we didn't. I don't remember which ones we fill up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna guess, all right? Ruby. Okay. I think some of the life pods have minor variation. Okay. <laughs> Did a little bit of research and uh, we couldn't pick up the titanium, so there we go. Picked it up now. More quartz. Man, heck, this is good farming. This just means that while we're out doing research and stuff, we're not going to have to go and farm later, right? We're, we're saving ourselves some time for later. Oh, let's get some more rubies. We need them for that aerogel. I don't know how useful aerogel is going to be, how much we're going to need to like make out of it, but we might as well pick up some spare. Alright, let's get in the seam off and let's reposition. We're almost at 300 meters, jeez. Alright, let's see if we can find an entrance into this bad boy. It's gotta be an entrance in. It's probably over here. Whoop, don't touch that. <laughs> Too late. It's probably down here, right? This feels like the right place for them to put a, put a hole in the... And the ship. Oh my goodness, called it. Called it. Alright, let's get our scanner out. Scanner's at the ready. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, let's go and cut this thing open. See if we can grab anything else that's useful in here before we have to go back to the scary um, stern of the Aurora, which is super dark for no good reason. Oh, lightning. Ow. <laughs> Electricity, bad for health. Oh, a grapple arm! Yes! That was the second one we needed. Alright, so we got this one done. And docking bay repair module. Acquired. Cool. So we can repair stuff when we dock it to the Cyclops. That's cool. So, then, so that means we can like carry around... Can we carry around all of our stuff? Ooh, hang on. Oh, that's a sealed door. I don't want to go through it. We need air. Um, let's get air first. Better safe than sorry. Last thing we need to do is drown, right? Like, we, come on. Aboard, it's a mobile base? Okay. The dune are always dark? Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to gear my mind to feel safe in the dark. That's all. Oh my goodness. Just, come on. Let me out. Jeez. Or let me in. Through here. Let's get this one done. Oh man. I'm not. I, I don't. The dark. I mean, I'm just gonna keep floating by the bottom, and I'm just gonna keep flashing my lights. That's just. That's just what I'm gonna have to do. That's just that's just what this is gonna be. Oh hello. Something good? Pulsion cannon. Oh we got it. Nice. Okay, so we got that, but we still don't have a modification station rip. We still don't have a modification station. What's in here? Oh. It's a different way in. Oh! <laughs> I was right. There was a space in the side. Gosh darn it. I second-guessed myself when I came around. I was like, there's got to be one over here, too. Oh, well. So it is. Sunlight only makes it uh, to less than 300 meters. Do you really think you're going to stay above that depth this entire game? No, I know for a fact I'm not because of that. Or, I'm sorry, wait. Because of, because of that, 500 meters. Nope. No, I know for a fact we're not staying. I know for a fact we are not staying in the nice, pretty sunlight. That's for sure. Uh, also, um, the sun, Torgal, uh, whatever I don't remember his name, um, said when he popped back up that. He he hadn't seen daylight in, you know, a long time, so. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna check this one last side here. Give us a little more time to go explore it. It's because we have our air nearby. And then, uh... Back to the scary dunes. Where the heck is the entrance to this thing? It's over here, right? Where's lightning is? There we go. All this power! Ah, here we go. Torgal Corp. Oh, okay. Torgal Corp. Hello. Oh, another grappling arm. Okay. Just pick that up. Oh, looks like we're all out. <laughs> we're out of space. We're going to need to drop some stuff off. All right. It's another good run. Feel good. All right. So we'll go listen to and or read that the moment we get back in the Steam Off. Do, 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 do. Um. You got all the prawn suit arms, but you don't have the mod station. I know, right? We don't have the mod station. I don't know where it is. We're going to have to find it. I mean, I haven't gone everywhere yet, so we'll find it. Uh, you actually listen to them? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Public... Ah, this is a document, though. <clears throat> Toro Corporation is a long-standing family-run clan that operates almost a dozen mining and trading operations. The colony's share price hit uh, an all-time high on the announcement of the Mongolian cabal of their uh, by a Mongolian cabal of their intention to construct a new phase gate utili uh, utilizing Torgal materials. These plans were put on hold when Bart Torgal—that's the guy I'm talking about there, Bart Torgal—the uh, 
uh, intended leader of the mining operation, disappeared along with his father roughly a decade ago. Bart Torgel, that's it. So Bart, he said that he hadn't seen the sunlight in a long time. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna dump some stuff in here. Free up our inventory. Nope, not that one. All right, let's dump, dump some stuff into here. Free up our, okay, not this one. All right, we'll dump some inventory stuff into here. And uh, there he is. <laughs> There's the one. I knew we didn't put it in all of them yet. There's still storage space. Man, having these three storage spaces are nice. You need to play Soma. So good. Uh, I want to say, whoop. You know, I want to say I know a little bit about Soma, kind of like I know I knew a little bit of Subnautica before I started doing this. I don't know everything now. That's for sure. Um, but hey, you know, October's coming around the corner, and we're gonna have to start doing some scarier things. I mean, this is this is moderately terrifying at times, and very soothing and fun. Uh, all around, except for the terrifying times, which it's it's fun but terrifying, not not soothing at all. Um. All right, so the way that these are curving, I'm going to say it's over here. And we're coming from the end of this area, where it could be, right? And knowing the developers, it's not going to be in this place where you can actually see things. There's no way. They're going to put it in the darkness. There's no way they're just going to put it here. Make your CMOS sonar so you can... Uh, I don't know, I haven't found any magnetite yet. Until I find magnetite, I can't make squat. Life's hard. Right, and if we look at databanks, public records, go away, you. Um, where's my geological records? At geological data, shale doesn't drop it, so it's got to be something that's sticking out. But I haven't found it yet. What is this? Oh my goodness, we found a station. Here we go. Will you absolutely quit it? Don't make me go figure out torpedoes just to have it fire at you, okay? Oh, there's got to be another one in here somewhere, right? Three storages? Yeah, we've got three storages right now just because I don't have anything else to put there. I don't have the materials. Magnetite is apparently used for, like, all of it. I mean, at this point, you might want to go and get, like, the hardened, um... Uh, it's a laser cutter. Um, oh my goodness, leave me alone, guys. Uh, it seems like a lot of it requires the, um, requires magnetite. Have you found an interesting cave? I mean, I found a cave underneath some, um, mushroom trees. I found those. Uh, once you find where magnetite is, it's... Uh, becomes pretty common to find. Okay, so I just haven't gone there yet, I guess. That's okay. I'm kind of exploring in bits and bobs, you know? So we'll, we'll get there. And when we do, it's going to be massive upgrade time. It's going to be crazy. Let's we'll see if we can find another one of those um, modification station pieces, though, because we need only one more. What's this? Ow! Oh, I'm getting shot at by a tiger plant. Ow. Oh, that's the wrong button. No! No, now's not the time! Oh my goodness, run! <laughs> Jeez. Getting, like, shot at, and I'm getting grabbed while I'm trying to get my knife out. Goodness gracious. That went poorly. <laughs> that went all around poorly. <laughs> yeah, the mushroom trees? Which color were the trees? They were, like, blue with yellow spores. That Mesmer fish got me hard, man. When did you start playing? Um, we were six, 12 hours into our gameplay, I think. I think we're about 12 hours in. Okay, so I want that, but I don't want this thing. I didn't even see it. What is this? What are you? at ah, scanner room. I keep, like, when I'm panicking, I hit E to enter the Seamoth, and that is not the button to press. <laughs> when I'm like trying to get into the sea moth urgently, I'm like pressing E. That has been that has been the bane of me playing this game since the start. Run the mesmer over. Oh man, I'm tempted. Where is it? Where'd he go? There he is. 
Is it still alive? Nah, I think he's dead. No, it's still alive. No way. Holy smokes, this thing does a lot of damage to us. Ow. Ow. I'm still getting shot at. Stop shooting me. No. No, stop. No. These storage compartments, I knew they were going to be a problem. I knew those storage compartments were going to be a problem. I knew it. No. Uh, we did two eight, uh, two four-hour sessions last week, and we're doing two four-hour sessions this week. We're technically already over the four-hour mark, but it's fine. I still want to play. Um, hi. Um, we'll be playing more tomorrow. It's just... I want to I wanna find Life Pod 7 and just get that over with. Right, I have to reorient myself here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Alright, so let's just go straight up. Let's reorient myself, figure out where I need to go, and go from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me. Okay, so we need to go slightly to the right and down. That uh, reminds me of your uh, of your Bane playing Minecraft, Minecraft you Panic, you press number one, which is your weapon. Oh, so you just... Oh, man. It's right next to Q, so you just start throwing stuff on the ground. I get you. Your next objective might be the Magnet Sight point. Okay, 12. Perfect. So it's going to be this way. It's going to be this way. I know it's going to be this way. It has to be this way. I'm so confident. And also very unnerved right now. I am not near any of the rocks that I need to be by. And they just keep... Okay, guys, we might need to go back and just make some like tough plating. Because they're going to break this thing. Alright? They're just going to break this thing. And I'm, I'm, I don't want them to break this. So we're going to head back, we're going to unload everything, we're going to go make some, like, hull plate reinforcement stuff, because I think we can do that, it's like titanium, right? And we'll turn back around. Jeez. It's really annoying, they, they hit for, like, 15 to 20 damage on this thing, and they just keep hunting us down. They don't freak me out so much as I don't want to have to make a new one of these, and then I don't want to have to try and swim back using the um, Sea Glide, because it doesn't have a lot of power left in it. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. Um, was it, have you been in the Purple Mushroom place underground? Um, yes. Yes, I have. I didn't go really far in there, actually. So, actually, the, you might, it might be down there. That's that's a good point. I dropped down right above the Degasi housing place, got the stuff I needed, and then left. And I've never been back there since. Huh. We need the um we need to get the modification station finished though first. We only got one part of it, didn't we? We didn't finish it, did we? Oh man, if we did that'd be great. Oh, maybe we did, did we? I was looking for gray when I when I went by. Uh, am I blind? I'm probably blind. It's probably right there. It's like Saldor, it's right there. Why can't you see that? Hey, Jellybean Dragon, thanks for the follow. <laughs> what? Am I not going far enough down? Ah, there it is. We still need one more. Okay, so it is in the... Okay, Jelly Shroom Cave. Okay, I know where that is. No spoilers. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for doing that without getting me to be like, what? Yeah, I've, I've been there. Okay. Cool. So, we'll go do that, but I... Actually, we should probably do that and get the sonar right now. Board, let's get the sonar for this thing. Let's... let's Yeah. Let's, yeah. Yeah. I like this. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's, let's go grab some stuff here. <laughs> Jelly stream sound like it does, doesn't it? Sounds like a good one. Hey, Element Gaming, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome. Oh man, guys, 
This, I've been really enjoying this game. It's totally different from the games we've been playing recently. Uh, we've been doing a lot of RimWorld of late, for example. Oh, no, that's Titanium. Still mind giving me that back. You can have the rubies. Um, and we'll be doing that on Thursday. Uh, or Wednesday and Thursday. Not tomorrow, but the other two days of the week uh, that we stream. Oh my goodness, we're, we're full on Titanium. Woofed. Okay, I need to stop picking up Titanium. We're just going to stash it in here for now. Ah, don't scapegoat this thing. Come on, Z. We can do better than that. Uh, let's go get our quartz. Go ahead and get our build tool. Just put this here for now. It's fine. There you go. Bam. Okay. New one. Store it. Whoa, what did I press? What did I what did I do? Um Uh Hi Galaxy Star <laughs> I didn't hit any of the F keys Hey Galaxy Star thanks for the follow I didn't hit a single F key. I hit R, E and four. Those are the keys I pressed. It's F1. What? I hit R, E, and 4. What is wrong with my key? I, this keyboard is literally over a decade old. Um, tilled? Nah, it's, 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 it's 1. Um, I tried. I always hit E because I don't like having things in my hand. You know? Like, I'll pull them out, but I want to put them away. Because I like having my hands empty. Um, so I went to hit E, and I hit 4, E, and R in, like, some weird mash. And bam, that was that. Um... Oh, if you if you hit this, it tells you what biome you're in. Safe shallows. Oh, I like the name of this. <laughs> I like the name of this. Sounds good to me. Use that. We're probably gonna need some more water with us now. Uh, listening to deleted your backup. Oh, dude, seriously? I hope you didn't get too far. I hope you're really bad at the game. You didn't get too far. You know, to save some time. That that's all all the same, man. That sucks. Uh, how far were you in it? Were you as far as I am or further? I don't really... Please not tell, like, spoilers and whatnot. Like, I got... I went and saw the massive... Um, alien spy arch. I don't know. I don't know what there is. Uh, there's a... There's a geothermal plant I read on there. So, I guess that's something that's not a spoiler. Did you get that far? Yes, you got to where you're able to get... In the ship? Oh, jeez. In the Aurora or in the ship to leave? You went to the alien place, too? Okay, so it sounds like you were about ready to leave the planet. Oh, big stretch. Uh, sounds like you're a lucky guy. That sucks, man. Oh, the Aurora. Okay, all right, okay, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Do we need anything else? We pretty good to go? We need to empty these out, that's for sure. But other than that, like, we're pretty good to go. Oh, my word, we have so many materials. I need to stop picking up stuff. I need to start picking up only things that are necessary and not just everything. We have enough stuff. Zelda, stop it, please. <laughs> please. Think of the children. Word. I'm just gonna willy-nilly put these down. I'm not even gonna, like, try and make them look perfect. Quartz in there. I guess we're also gonna put salt in here, too, because, I don't know. Right here. You guys in here. And I thought titanium was going to be hard for us to hold on to, but, pfft, I mean, you got a lot right now. You got a little uh, into the damn ship and got burnt over and over by fire. Yeah, there was a lot of fire in there, man. I think it was scary. Let's drop all this off. Are you going to play some more? Absolutely. This, I mean, unless there's a good reason for you not to be able to. I don't see why you wouldn't. This game's great. I'm loving it. All right. So let's get in here. Um, oh wait, hold on. Before we go and do anything. Welcome aboard, Captain. Captain. Alright, before we go do anything special here, let's get back up to the top and scroll down see if there's anything we want to grab. Is there anything we can make? Because we can't use the modification station yet, but is there anything we want to make or have that requires magnetite that we want to have? Alright, so we're going to get the stasis rifle. So we need at least two. Ah, leave me alone. 
Um, you don't need any. It's fine. It's fine. We can't do anything here. Applies uh, force to entities in range. Okay. Cool. Upgrades. Let's see here. So we've got the storage that we're doing right now. The hull is diamond. Ugh, that's it's actually really expensive. Sonar. Here we go. So we want another two. So we want four. Uh, it's a prawn suit one. Heat generator. Don't care about those. I mean, this takes aerogel lithium. We, got, we can make that. These take... Okay, so we can get a bunch and we can make vortex torpedoes. That'd be pretty good. Grab like 20. Sounds pretty good. Do that. Is there anything else we want to work on for upgrades, though? That we can get our hands on. Our little mitts on. Now we just really need another modification fragment. Like, I need... I need another modification station fragment. If memory serves, it's this way. I think it's north. How deep can you go down? Uh, I can go 300 down right now. Perimeter defense is 900% better than... What? Oh, okay. Perimeter defense. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's a cool one. We're going to want that. Perimeter defense. This one. Wiring kit and polyaniline. I don't know how to make that yet. I'll have to figure that one out. But let's at least go ahead and get ourselves set up with some nice things, like a sonar, so we can see. Hopefully it, like, um, wireframes everything for us. That'd be nice. What? There's a Seamoth fragment here. That can't be right. I've been down here before. Right? Or is this a different spot? No, maybe this is a different spot. No, no. Here's this. I think these fragments are respawning. No, they're not. We've never opened this. <sighs> Modification station. You need deep shrooms and gold. Probably wanna, uh, probably wanna learn. <laughs> okay. What are you? A battery charger fragment. Yes. Oh, I'm doing it again. Well, let's get some more titanium while we're here. Again, I'm confident we're gonna need a lot of it. I've got a pretty good feeling. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh my goodness, guys, we can recharge our, like, I think we have 20 batteries on hand now. I think we now have 20 batteries. Like, that is a huge one for us. I am super stoked about that. It's down here. Oh, is this just a dead end? Okay. It's just a dead end. But I really want that modification station because then we can get like more air and like everything else. Done. It's a cutter on five. We're not far from the surface. I'm okay. Yeah, the tank upgrade. Absolute hundred percent there. Hundred percent. Like I really want to get more air. Can I carry additional tanks in my inventory and that also counts or no? Because if so, with the Seamoth having all of its storage right now. Actually, wouldn't be too bad to look at. Ah, there's more cutters. <gasps> 30 seconds. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Alright, we're going right back home. We're going back home immediately. No, no, we're not. We need to go and get the tight, uh, the, the, whatchamacallit. Heck with this place. There's probably nothing. Well, there might be something else in here we need. All right, we'll still try. We'll still check it out. Oh, that's that's the cat that we ran into. Yeah, see moth I mean, We don't need it. All right, cool. Nope, we're done. Nice. Oh my goodness. We need to get that magnetite. We need to get it right now. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go get that magnetite. Um, that's not the way. That's to the jellies. Ah. 
Oh, I see the problem. We've only ever gone to this one. I don't think we went to that one further south. We've only ever seen this guy. Sand shark. No? Oh no, I'm in the wrong area then. This is not the right place. Alright, let's try this again. Go this way. Alright, so I'm in the wrong area for it, but we found the modification station, so I'm happy. So we got the modification station, and we got the battery charger. I'm so stoked. You had that ship uh, you're in, and it went down. You went down and broke it. There's an entrance by the edge of the red grass biome. That's what I was thinking. I remember there being a small one somewhere around here. I just don't remember the entrance spot. Like, there's a, there's a small hole somewhere around here that just goes straight down. And if you're saying it's around here, I'll keep searching. Look for the pink mushrooms. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Unless there's like pink mushrooms up here that I could see. I don't see anything here. I think it's a different red grass biome. So I don't think it's this one. Which, by the way, is called... Grassy. Okay. <laughs> this is the grassy biome. It's not red grass. It's called grassy. Gotcha. It's the grassy plateau. Uh, we'll go to this uh, red biome over here. Look for the pink mushrooms in a hole. Yeah, that, that's what we found last time. It was near a wreck. It was near a piece of a wreck. Um, went straight down, found the Degazi habitat, and then left. Never went back. Um, but it was in a. It was near the edge of a red grass biome, and it was down at a lower altitude than the kelp. It was near a pillar, and wreckage from the aurora, and that's what I'm looking for. And there it is. See, there's the life pod right there. And there it is. Found it. Easy. See? I, I kind of know what I'm doing. I kind of know the area. And there's been bumbling around a lot. We can actually hang out down here now that we've got the depth module. With these weird snakes. This is a different entrance. This is different. Uh, we did not come down this way before. Don't go too far. Diamonds and gold here, okay. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> My goodness gracious, seriously. Magnetite. Got it. There's some more up here I saw. Eyeball? The heck? It's a literal eyeball. Okay. Uh, look at the top of the meter. It's 200. Yeah, we're at, we're at 300, though. We our, our max depth is 300. If you see on the bottom right of the ship, we've got a module there that lets us go a little bit deeper. We can go to 300. It's a structure over here. Maybe an original attempt at a habitat before they went to the one that they found. Can I get in this thing or no? Yeah, I can't. Of course you can. Is there, any, is there anything useful in here? No. I don't like those sounds. I haven't played with these snake boys. Oh, he's infected. I haven't played with these snake boys much. The... God, what do they call them? Spider? Did, did they... Didn't he call them, like, spider eels or something? Crap... Wow, not even close. Crap snakes. <laughs> not even close. Those purple peepers produce uh, 630 power for the bioreactor each. It's insane. Just gotta find like a way to breed them. It's fine. We've got infinite marble melons right now. Set up a back at base. We're okay. There's like another outpost over here. 
this music. Don't know what's powering you, but okay. There's like nothing there, okay. Let me guess, a magnetite deposit? Yep. Gold, don't need. I guess we really only need to look for magnetite here. Well, we could use diamonds, so... Yeah, lithium. Okay. There's another platform here as well. Anything of use? Potentially. What you got? A battery! <laughs> well, I mean, we're running on those until we can get that charger up and running. We're right back, alright, no worries. We're gonna, we're still gonna be in this spooky place probably by the time we get back. Okay, like, my eyes must just be, like, drifting over all the magnetite, because I'm not seeing it. Ah, we found it. <laughs> Ah, oh, there it is. No. No. No, 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 no. Don't... It, okay, it's a power cell charger. I was going to say, if that was a battery charger, I was actually going to be pretty grumpy. I was actually going to be pretty grumpy if that ended up being a, um, a recharger for batteries. So I was like, we've been here before. We've already done this. We've already, like, scooted around in this area. Come on now. Lithium. Okay. I feel comfortable in this area because I've been here before, you know? See? Been here before. Um, so I feel comfy in this area. Magnetite. Searching for magnetite. What's this? Thermal plant? Ah, we already got that. And the noises those things make, though, oof, not happy. Okay, that's all the magnetite I found here. You can pick up the jellyfish? What jellyfish? Oh, the, the jelly jellies? What? I know they hurt you if you get close. Nah, you're messing with me, aren't you? You're messing with me. I've already touched one before. Oh my goodness, a PDA! With the propulsion, oh, we're gonna have to play with that in a second. Hold on, let's let's see if this, let's get this one going first. Magnetite essential for advanced fabrication, and where's her data? Right here. These conniving corporate bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks. Don't have a damn clue. Oh, oh no! Oh, get off me! Oh, jeez! No, oh, back in this thing. Oh my goodness gracious. That was not what I needed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, that's that's worth a clip right there. Jeez. Alright. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. Oh sea monsters are hunting you. You don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds. Leave. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, no, we need seek fluid intake after how much water we just let out of our body. What? Um, wow, I was just like listening to the to the audio and doing my own thing and changing inventory stuff so I could go play with the jellyfish and bam, out of nowhere, these crab snakes come and grab me. 
Uh, do I play Pathfinder? Yes! Uh, I ran a Pathfinder campaign earlier today. Yes, I do. Alright, so we've got we've got the repulsy thing on here. You, sir, I will torpedo you to next week if you do that again. I'm telling you right now. Alright? Keep your little claws off me. Like, is there a way to, like, detach faster? Uh, Pathfinder 2E? No, I've not played with 2E yet. I'm waiting for that to get flushed out before I play with it. No way. Crap boy. Ah! No, I wanted to shoot him with it. This was a bad plan. This is a bad plan. <laughs> Run! All right, we're gonna see him off. They're fine. <laughs> All right, we're fine. Wait, if you get the... I'm totally doing that. Oh, man. I tried so hard, man. I thought I was, like, I, like, if, if I, like, if you saw my face, I had, like, the most evil grin on my face when I was moving that thing around, and then I missed, and my face cha changed quickly. <laughs> like, there was, there is a quick change in emotion there. That was, like... Devilish delight to oh no, <laughs> pretty much the thing like when you when you realize you've you've gone too far with a joke, you know, and you realize you're like you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> that was so funny. There might be a crab snake, uh, crab snake egg in the jelly. Eh, I think I'll pass. I think I'm okay. Eh, I think I'm okay. Made it, uh, they've made it way less confusing, but retain the complexity. Oh, right, cool. I mean, the main thing is, again, I'm still going to wait for them to finish, to flush it out even more so. Um, I do, I play with a lot of the alternative third-party rules, uh, because it makes the game, you know, like, a thing. <laughs> like, there's, it makes it, like, I, I like running campaigns where my players can literally do whatever they want, and consequences are going to be exactly what you would expect them to be. That's the way I like it. Like, I really, like, enjoy... Uh, running my D&D games, or my Pathfinder games, excuse me. I haven't run a 5E game in ages. Or a 3E. 3.5E. I don't, I don't run 5. I like the complex. Alright, so let's see if we can find more Magnetite in here, because, geez, it's not, like, clustered the way I would like it to be. It's just, like, a little bit here, a little bit there, it seems. Relatively, but, oh, dude, these little buggers, they're really annoying. Um, you're back, what'd you miss? Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, guys, someone needs to go back and clip both of those, alright? Both of those need to be clipped for other people to see, because that was, the first one was, was funny, that one was funny, the second one was stupid. <laughs> I shouldn't have, I don't know why I was like, the moment you told me I could play with the jellyfish, I was like, oh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that was so cocky of me, what was I thinking? I wasn't. Oh, that makes sense. I'm on magnetite. O2? Yeah. Uh, with Pentor 2E, they've made a massive change in the action economy. Oh, that might be very interesting. Instead of a separation between move actions, other actions, you just get three... That changes so much. Holy smokes. Medics, that changes a ridiculous amount of mechanics for the game. That is a huge change. Wow, that's I'm really interested to see how that goes. Come here, eyeball. Aye, aye. There you go. Bam, got him. Got him. All right. What are we looking at? We are looking at um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we're halfway there to what you said. We should probably try and get 20. So we'll just keep floating around for right now. I feel pretty safe. Like, in the Seamoth, I don't think these guys are going to hurt me. But outside the Seamoth... Whoops. I can see what you're saying by it's abundant. I guess if we get the prawn down here, we can just go and, like, dig up a ridiculous amount of it. Twelve now. 
Um, if you're not talking about getting your kid up for school, what are you talking about? I didn't say anything about. Nah. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? You made it entertaining for everyone else. So, good job. <laughs> and and made made me re rethink life decisions for a minute there. So you know. <laughs> Picking up junk while we're floating around here, I guess. Yeah, some diamond. There we go. That's good. Just more of that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, being able to attack three times is a little ridiculous. I wonder how they change that up for um, classes that have multiple attacks that take the entire round to do the multiple attacks. Right? Like, why be able to attack twice as a full round action if you can attack three times? Right? Magnetite. Where's this magnetite? Where you at? There's something like a snake in there, like looking at me as I fly right past him. It'd be scary. Basically, they have four E powers. Ugh. I don't know. I don't like four E at all. We'll we'll see. It's fine. I mean, the the game probably will work fine as if blending in house rules. And I mean, I've been running Pathfinder games for good gracious, eight years. So, I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. More magnetite. No, it's just a crease in the ground. Uh, we should be about at 15 right now. Yeah, there's two more here. So this should be 15 or more now. So I think this will be it. This will be our the last bit of the run for the moment. By the time we come back here, we'll probably have a sea moth. Er, we'll probably have a ah, there's no one. We'll probably have a prawn suit that can just go. <laughs> this oh inventory's full. Boo boo. Hold on. Yeah, you're titanium. I don't want you. I want you. Yeah, let's get back to sea moth. Let's get up and out. Never played D&D Accelerator, but you've been interested. The hard part is finding a group that you really jive with. If you can find a group you jive with, you're going to be really happy. If you don't, it's not worth your time. It really isn't. You're, it's just going to be scheduled time out of your week that you're going to be like, you know, feel like it's an obligation to go to, as opposed to being like, oh my goodness, I'm so freaking excited. You know? I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. I was going to go back to the Degazic Habitat and go from there. And I, I, I might, my direction sense makes me feel like it's somewhere over here, but I'm just going in circles and reading chat and not paying attention at all. Oh my goodness. Nailed it. Oh, I feel so good. God, I feel so good. I'm not paying attention to where I'm driving, and yet I knew it was over here. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, you. Yeah, Hugsy, go away. Ah, oh, I feel so... Uh, man, I'm actually really proud of that. I'm really proud of actually finding the exit. Yeah. Alright, let's get back home. Let's make some massive, massive upgrades on all of our stuff. This is going to be great. Oh, it's going to be awesome. We're going to just... We're going to upgrade the, the absolute ridiculous nuts out of all of our stuff. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome. Oh my goodness, Shilling, welcome everyone. You just, you just missed all the crazy, scary stuff, and now we're going to do upgrades. But welcome. <laughs> welcome to Upgrades. And taking a quick look at our little base here. What were you doing today? What were you up to? Hey, Raven Rest. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. Also, by the way, if people did... If no one went back and clipped those, I am going to personally go back and clip those later. I see two clips have been made this stream. So I'm hoping I'm hoping someone someone was on it. But if not, I'm going to have to go back and do it. Because those, those two instances were so funny. Like, I just... My goodness. Stellaris and then Broforce. Oh my goodness, Broforce. Oop, come on. There we go. Whoop. Ah, safe and sound, safe and sound, just like we'd like to be. All right. Welcome back to base. Eventually, level 6 to 12, D&D. &D. 
D20 systems start to work normally. They do. They're not that great at early levels. You have to do a lot of like alterations and whatnot to make it work. Man, we have so much junk right now. It's nuts. I don't even know where I want to put magnetite. It's a ferric oxide, so yeah, we'll, we'll put it in here. With lithium and whatnot. Alright, so let's sing. First things first. What do we need? We need this tool here. And then we need to go here. Alright, first things first, we're going to get a battery charger in here. Let's stick it right here. Alright, alright. So we need a wiring kit, copper, and titanium. So wiring kit... Copper, and drop the gold, and a titanium. Or a copper wire, right? It's copper wire. Copper wiring. We need another copper. Copper. Oop, hang on. Wrong button. Copper. We're actually low on copper. That's that's actually disconcerting. Um, here, wire. Bam. Set up and running. This is where you evolve. Is it not like a player? I mean, I hope so. I know for our vending machine, I love it. We just we just get snacks whenever we need them. Num 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 num. All right. Oh my goodness, this thing right here is an absolute game changer. I mean, all the batteries we have on hand are all full, but look at all the freaking batteries. We have so many batteries. We have so many batteries, and we're finally gonna charge them. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes. Alright. What else can we make here? Make power cell charger. I don't see a need for it, but we might as well stick one in here. We'll put the power cell chargers in here, I guess. Uh, we'll put it on this side by the module container. What do we need for this? Advanced wiring kit, two rubies, and two titanium. Can do. We have so much material at this point, we're pretty good to go. You like charging stuff? Got swim charge fins. Cop I mean... Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I just blank, blanked. Advanced wiring. Oh, it's an advanced wiring kit. I don't want to make this yet. We'll make it in a minute. Let's make the other stuff first. Oops. This one. Nope, this one. And that. There we go. Alright, let's make the modification station next, right? I don't know where we want to stuff this thing. It's getting a little crowded over here, so um, let's make it more crowded. Angle it, maybe? Oh, yeah, now we're talking. All right. Uh, chip, titanium, diamond, lead. Chip, we don't have enough stuff for the chip, that's for sure. I'm pretty confident we don't. Computer chip, wire gold, and table coral samples. I don't think we have table coral samples on hand. Nah, didn't think so. Let's go nab that real quick. I don't even know where the quick closest table corals is. It's probably over here. Oh, it's literally right here. Bam, got it. Oh man, we're not even close to being able to do Kite Night stuff. I haven't even seen it. Let's grab a. Oh! Come here, you. Come on, come on! Okay. <laughs> Let's grab a bunch of this. Oh my goodness. Grabbing this is really hard, actually. I'm just spamming clicking and he just can't pick it up. Goodness. All right, much easier when I'm not moving. So it seems. Right, let's put our stuff away. That's endgame stuff? All right, cool. I don't have to worry about it. Um, it's an inherent problem having low levels working in D&D. It's true. It really is. You need power cells uh, later on when you start using the Cyclops. Yeah. But we don't have to do it right now, so no worries. But yeah, we will eventually need it. Uh, so we need a wiring kit, two gold, and a computer chip. Computer chip, we need gold and copper. Oof, we're running out of copper. We might not have enough. It's the last thing of copper we can do. Uh-oh, we're going to have to go on a copper run. This is the one. It's the one. The one resource we have, like, nothing of. We have everything else we need. Uh, we need a gold, and we need three. So we need three gold. But again... We have plenty of gold. Gold's not hard. We got that stuff covered. 
Good chip. Uh, when you get the modification station, make a battery to get a heat knife. Ooh, okay. Oh wait, we can't though. We don't have the we don't have the pattern for it. We can't make it yet. Okay, so there's that. So we go back here. Uh, computer chip. Whoops! <laughs> I made the wrong thing. I made the wrong thing. Well, there you go. I mean, <laughs> I guess I guess that's the thing. I mean, it was so stuck in my mind. I guess we're just making this now. So we'll we'll just put that there. I mean, we're not going to use it. We only have one power cell, and it's the one in this guy here, and it keeps charging up. So it's not like we need it for anything. Uh, we need a computer chip again, which hopefully doesn't take copper, right? I think... Oh, no, it does. Alright. Off, off a copper farm and we go. You can't... Uh, you could carry spear power cells for the long hauls, though. True. But I mean, like, we, we now have it. The main thing is just, like, I, w I didn't intend to make that now. I intended to make it later just because I didn't want to go on a copper run at night. But we're on it now. I'm just looking for any kind of... You know what? I know where to look. I know where I should be looking. I shouldn't be looking here. But the fact that we can charge these batteries that I'm using up right now is awesome. Super stoked. Titanite, great. Or titanium, sorry. Great. We don't need titanium. <laughs> Mashed um, the um, magnetite and titanium together to make titanite. Sounds like a cool metal, though. It's like it's like big titans. Um, there you go. That's another one. Copper, please. Yes, there's one copper. More copper, please. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, I know what I'm making with our first computer chip. I know what I'm making with our first computer chip, and it is not the modification station. It is not the modification station. I've been struck with a with a thing of genius. Oh, or you also also put it in the chat. Okay, never mind. Okay, fine. You put it in the chat. <laughs> fine, you're on top of it as well. You know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to go get the scanner room thing, because I just need a computer chip for it. Now they got the magnetite. I felt so smart right there for a second. Oh, I felt like I felt like a smart man. And then, you're like, and then I look at chat, and you're like, oh, by the way, you can also go to the scanner room and do that. And I'm like, oh, you yeah, can, yeah. But yeah, so... But... Okay. Uh, with one... Um... Let's get some air first. Uh, with one more copper, we'll be able to make that. We just need to get a computer chip. Uh, then we can go and get the... Uh get the scanner room to show us where all the copper is and we'll just go pick up copper. And that'll save us a lot of time. But I need one more copper. No? Is there really none in here? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. <laughs> Man, I've like farmed out everything so far. I don't even know. I'm just gonna unload this and load in this battery instead. <laughs> Save me some time. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Oh, yeah, we could also get the prom suit. That's true, and we could use the arms. Because if we go to the mushroom place, there were a handful of places over there that had copper. I do remember that. Alright, there's the copper too. Is there any last second copper within the vicinity I can nab real Shh, Yeah, I hear you. I can nab real quick before we go. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Let's get in here and let's get this scanner online. All right. I'm excited. We're finally going to get to use a scanner room. I've actually had to take all the all the scanner 
uh, cameras out of their out of their pod because we kept having problems. The, the stalkers kept taking him out. The stalkers kept, like, eating him. It was really annoying. One gold. Can do. Gold is not hard to come by right now, apparently, but... Jeez, copper is. Good chip. And then we need some magnetite, which we still have in inventory. Perfect. Oh my goodness, yes! There we go. Streams data from scanner room to HUD. All right. Give me copper. There's no more copper in your immediate vicinity. Dang it. <laughs> uh, um, scan limestone, not copper. Okay. Limestone chunks. Oh, there's one. And one red dot. There it is. Oh, look at that. There's another one. Ooh, here we go. So you can stack the range upgrades on the scanner room. Oh, can you now? What do they require? Because there's the upgrade slots. Range is <laughs> range is literally copper and magnetite. For goodness sake, seriously? And then scanning speed. I'm not too worried about the speed, to be honest. If we're, like, running around picking this stuff up, it'll slowly build out either way. It's fine. We might put one speed upgrade in there. Let's go get some copper. My knife out, so it's a one hit. Oh, nice copper. Oh my goodness, look at all this. It just blends in, you know? I just You don't see it because it blends in. Oh, this thing's already just paying dividends. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, I'll take that. And that. Thank you. Man, whenever I, like, breach the water like that, it just... just <laughs> the game does not get happy. It, like, stutters for a second. That's to render all those beautiful water effects. Where are these? It's like in a cave or something. Hmm. You have like three range upgrades in one speed? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So we just need three copper. And we can get those ranges all up and running. But, I mean, I'd, I'd like considerably more than that. Inventory. Okay. <laughs> Back we go. Ah, yeah, I to pick this up. That does make sense. This eyeball real quick. Delicious and squishy. Vital signs stabilizing. Like that. Go over here and drop off this. And let's go here and let's get this copper done. A little titanium real quick, because we can. We'll do that. To me, scanner room is more trouble than it's worth. So much effort to set it up uh, anywhere but home base. Oh, yeah. I don't think its range is going to hit the entire map. That's a good point. But I still feel as though it's worth it. The modification station, we need a chip, so we need another wire. Another gold and that table coral I just put away. <laughs> okay. Two of those. One of these. Chip. Does stay relevant uh, throughout the game, though? Okay. Does make sense. Titanium, we're gonna need. Lead. Oh. Lead. 
Okay. Oh. My. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of clipping a little, but it's fine. Oh. Just make a thermal blade. Cooks and sanitizes all small organisms for eating. We just slash at stuff and we eat it? Holy moly. That's ridiculous. Air tank. Uh, four lithium times two. What? Doesn't make any sense, but sure. We can do that. Uh, my lithium's over here. Okay, so we'll just take all of our lithium, I guess, and we'll take your tank off. Okay, it's only once. Uh, means you need four, but you have two. Ah, okay. <laughs> I see. I was confused for a second there. Oh my goodness, we can hold our breath. We just, we just gained 90. We just gained 90. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we can, holy moly. Max O2 capacity? Nice. Just drop off all these components so we can only deal with what we're looking at. All right. Fan upgrades. Choices are Ultra Glide, which increases our speed, or Swim Charge. Well, we can't make Swim Charge right now because we don't have polyaniline. So I guess we can just make the uh, Ultra Glide ones to make us go faster. I'm not good at that. Titanium, rubber, and lithium. We can make that. Do that. Death module upgrades also. Yeah, we are going to need to do that. It's true. True, true. Uh, what else we got here? Propulsion, computer chip. Oh, okay, we gotta get more copper for that one. Upgrades, we can't do anything on that one. Seamoth upgrades, depth, we need enamel glass, plasteel ingot, and magnetite, we can do that. That's we, we can do that one. And then we can do that one. Oh my goodness, yeah. And then you need to go down, and you need the kyanite. All right, so let's get the seamoth upgrades done. And the... Propulsion and then fins. Or fins and propulsion. Ultra Glide is 15% faster. That's still a lot. 15 more percent. It's ridiculous. Um, so, what did we need? We needed. What, what was I doing first? <laughs> Hold on. Hello, yes. Uh, enamel glass, two magnetite, plasteel ingot, and depth module. Two magnetite, plasteel ingot. Okay. Um, a depth module and a enamel glass. Okay. I can't remember if I just need like normal glass for it or what. Okay, just glass, yeah. Glass, blammo, enameled, blammo. Ingot. This is why we're going to start needing those 10. Power doesn't appear to be a problem. No, <laughs> we stacked ourselves pretty hard on power right now. We're good. That's two lithium. God, so close. So close on that one. We almost had it. We almost had it. Okay, let's go. Last deal, ingot. Okay. And a... Seam off depth. Perfect. Thunk, 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 thunk. <laughs> still, the, the storage capacity... Are these things still full with stuff, or we've taken everything out? Is that this one? Nope. <laughs> we still have titanium in here, for goodness sakes. Okay, titanium. That means that this, one's, this other one's probably still full of stuff. Nope. Okay, good. We've emptied it. Good, good. Her up. Good. All right. Modify. Seamoth. Depth. So this should be 400 feet. Yes? Okay. Then we need another plasteel ingot and, a, and three rubies. Okay. Okay. And... Pull it out of this one here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bam. 700? Oh my word. <laughs> well, the main thing is we just don't have to worry about depth anymore. Depth is covered. We're done. Three is 900? Well, pff, welcome aboard. Alright, done and done. Module complete. Nope, not right. That's not the right one. Access modules. Oh my goodness, it's 900. Oh my word, guys. Holy smokes. Moth doesn't go to the deepest part. That's fine. Whatever. All the same. All the same. So we're done with the sea moth upgrades. Repulsion cannon, we need a computer chip, so we need more copper. Fins, we don't. Does it still require lithium? No, it's magnetite. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's go nab that copper. Yeah, let's go nab that copper. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome. I'm. I'm leaving. Goodness gracious! It's found so much, <laughs> but it seems. I see where my problem is. The place that I go to get the the copper and whatnot, this like out in front of my base has been completely overmined. Nope. Like, I, I've nabbed everything from out here. It's all gone. There's no, no wonder I'm having problems. It doesn't exist anymore. I've grabbed all of it. <laughs> well, welcome aboard to the great wide open sea, Captain. I don't feel welcome here. Well, too bad. I said welcome. All the fish look at me funny. No one wants to talk to me. Have you explored the Aurora? Yes. Seriously? I didn't pick that up? <laughs> okay. Sure. What? Ah, copper. Come here. I need the copper. Copper's the most important thing. Alright, so this is definitely going to tell us if this stuff respawns or not. Because I've mined out all of the stuff in front of the house except for this one here. And if it comes back again... I don't... I think this is new. But if this stuff comes back again, we know for a fact it respawns. I think it does. It does respawn? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that one can't just pop back. Yeah, so it totally does respawn. It's just some areas uh, get a little dry. That's for sure. Okay. Oh, come here, you. Copper. Ah, nice. There we go. Some more over here. Titanium. Come on, copper. Counting on you. We're at six now. Getting there. It's that side. You're right here. You appear to be right here. You are. Good. Get some sulfur. Blam. Alright, get some sulfur. Oh, <laughs> what a tease. What a tease. You think I'm going sea crazy? I'm not going sea crazy. I'm going sea mad. This one. Whoop. Okay. How are we looking? Fine on storage. A lot of this stuff seems to be underground. Not the easiest to pick up because you have to go find it. Okay. I mean, this does feel like it's enough. Whoop. Oh, I forgot about oxygen. You're going to go to sleep? Alright, take care, Dreyfus. Uh, 
Hope to see you tomorrow when we're playing more. You've been a real help. <laughs> like, you've helped me out quite a bit. It's been very nice. Up to daisies. Okay. Man, those are going to get really annoying. Mmm, decoys, okay. Alright. Fins, titanium, rubber, and lithium. I think more importantly, it's this guy right here. The magnetite, the copper. Er, let's actually look at Seamoth upgrades first. So that's the ones we really need, right? Perimeter defense we can't do. We've already got the depth one. Sonar. So we need copper wire and magnetite. Perfect. This is the one we need. So I want this one. So that we can go and find... <laughs> so we can find that stuff in the darkness. Right? We can go find stuff in the darkness. Good gracious. Look at where they are. So we've mined out everything in front of us. But, like, everything back here, like, there's a massive cluster right here. Why am I able to see, like, the circuitry down here? What's going on? It's weird. Yeah, I'll have you stop scanning. Yeah, so you'll do range upgrades, but, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's just stop that so it's not, like, all sorts of stuff all over our screen. Um, well, yeah, let's go get ahead and get this perimeter defense. Earth star. Oh my goodness, big yawns. Um, we'll get the sonar here. Get this bad boy installed. And then we gotta I gotta test this thing out. One module for another. And that's what this module chest is for. Okay, so our, our top storage has disappeared. Alright, let's try the sonar out. How do we do it? Nope. Press three. Oh! <gasps> oh, it does wireframe everything. Oh my goodness. It even does it for creatures. Oh! <gasps> Does it use a lot of energy to spam this? Oh my word. That's so nice. Does drain a fair bit. Yeah, I am watching it slowly go down. Alright. Then what we're gonna do... So we're going to reduce the amount of, like... We've done enough resource runs by accident that we're fine. You know, we're not, like, running out of resource... I mean, other than copper, of course. Uh, and the magnetite I didn't know we could have gotten earlier. Uh, we're not really, like... Nope, not tools. I'm, we're, we're fine. Actually, no, not you, either. Actually, I want to come here. What, do, what can you do? Pulsion. We don't have benzene. Sorry. Though, this drill arm is the one that's most important for us, I think. I we'll need to go on mining expeditions. Um, the solar charge is an advanced wiring kit and enameled glass. I think we want that one. Because then we can actually like roam around and whatnot with it. Right? Is, is that any good? Or are we going to be like under under deep water too much to actually have any true... Take true advantage of that? We do have a prawn suit? Yeah, we can make the prawn suit. Just, I've been told it's, like, really cumbersome to run around in. So, I kind of want to get the, uh, the Cyclops before then. And just having the sonar alone is going to help out immensely. Just, just a ridiculous amount having the sonar. I think the other thing is we're probably going to want to go ahead and get this perimeter defense as soon as we can. Maybe even torpedoes. It's not very fast. 
uh, even with the grappler hook. Ugh. Whenever he has a bay. Yeah. We're going to have to get around to it. I don't have all the items. Oh, I don't have all the items for it yet. Nice. Come here. Most of these should be hundreds now. Nope. There's <laughs> some, still some zeros in here. Found a lot of these on the Aurora. Okay. These are the last ones. In which case, let's go ahead and grab another one for you. Do you have a battery? You do. You don't have a battery. So let's grab another one for you. Uh, do you have a battery? You do. Okay. So let's go ahead and put a battery in you. Swap out the flashlight and put a battery in you. And there you go. Seek fluid intake. Charging up. Perfect. All right, let's go get some water. So we're going to need that. It's expensive. Three plus steel. That's, that's fine. We just need the lithium. That's the only thing we're low on now. We don't have enough lithium for that much plus steel, but we got titanium. Titanium and titanium. We're fine. <laughs> I am not worried about our titanium reserves at all because we have titanium as well. Um, what I am worried about is lithium. We're pretty much out of lithium. This is full. Let's stick it in here. Ooh, give me that back. Give me that back. Maybe copper. Yeah, well, we've got a lot of it. Should be plenty of uh, lithium in the snake cave. Um, there's a lot of it out by the uh, mushrooms as well. The mushroom biomes as well. So that worked out pretty well for us. All right, let's make sure we're doing okay here. Is the marble melon still running? Yep. Still running. Non-stop these marble melons. Non-stop. We, we've got, like, massive grow beds for marble melons just in case things get rough power-wise. But... We've never run into situations where we actually truly need them. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Back in there. Grab up the blade. Slash that guy up. It gives us four. Put the four back in. Perfect. Come back here. Drink the water. Good. Vital science back up and running. All right, perfect. So we're doing pretty good here. Um, what else can we do modification-wise that we want to get done? Uh, let's get the let's get this one done, All right? Yeah. Okay. So we need um, two copper, one gold. We need two two magnetite. Was it? Two magnetite and then the computer chip. So we need table coral too. <sighs> Not enough. Huh? Need another table coral. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. One more table coral, please. And we'll be good to go. Table coral. Come here. Oh my goodness. Don't don't do that to me. knock all this table coral down. Grab everything I can here. We'll leave the rest, but <laughs> we're going to need more at some point, right? Okay. Let's get on in here. Okay. And we now make the one computer chip. We make the wire. Okay. There we go. And we got the two magnetite. Okay. We now have a repulsion cannon. <laughs> I 
So with the repulsion cannon, we all know what needs to happen, right? I hope you know what needs to happen. Oh, neighbor. <laughs> Where's my neighbor when you need him? Always gone. Oh! Wow, that's actually really effective. You can't bring things to you, can you? It's on. Oh my goodness, alright. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. And. Oh, I got too close. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. This thing does what now? <laughs> Pew! Oh my... <laughs> Dusted. Oh my goodness. Bam! It's got a pretty fast firing rate, too. Consumption of 4% four power, 4 power per... <laughs> this cannon. This cannon, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have too much fun with this cannon. This this is this was a bad idea to have me play with. Guys, this is bad. I don't know why this is in the game. This is this is bad for me. I'm gonna have too much fun with this. Um but yeah, I see why the recharging why he's saying the recharge fins would be nice. We're about to figure out pro polypropylene. That's fine, we can do that. Um Let's go over here. Any extra water or anything? No. Okay. Let's go make this last bit here into titanium while we're here. I mean, I picked it up because it's there, right? And you know, you're you're we're eventually gonna run out of titanium, so it doesn't hurt to you know try and stockpile. Let's go and put the remnants of the table coral away. Some food on hand, a bit of water on hand. So we're pretty good to go. All right, cool. So we can go ahead and do the next thing. But that's going to have to wait until next time as uh, I got to get going. I got to jump off. We're going to stop here uh, and we'll be back tomorrow. The schedule, the scheduled time is in your time zone down below. Uh, and we will uh, we'll jump back on that because we need to go into the deep, dark depths. We're going to be jumping over to... Where the heck it went? Where are the Degazi is? There it is. We're gonna need to go find that Degazi habitat tomorrow. So we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to get that one figured out. But for now, we're done. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. It's been an absolute blast. I've had so much fun, and I've it, it was yeah, it's a little scary at times. Oh, uh, I'll see you guys all next time. Take care. Have a good morning, evening, or night. Bye bye.